Jeni tuombe. Baba wetu na Mungu takatifu tumekushukuru siku ya leo. Asante Bwana kwa sababu ya wakati huu. Tajiweka mikononi mwa kwa Bwana, habibi baada hii kwa kwa Jehova. Shukuri zote ambazo utakuwa zikiendelea mahali hapa. Taomba neema yako ikaweza kuwa juu yetu mpaka atakapo tamatisa haya mambo. Tutakushukuru na hata kukutukuza. Na ni katika jina safi la Kristo twaomba na kuamini. We do not wait again. 
we will add, um, you'll view the body and quickly get to your vehicles because we will not have another meeting after this. It is viewing the body, getting into our vehicles, and that's what we will do. So we want to start with the family, um, and I want some queens to make sure that they support the family and some brothers to support the family as they do that. Worship our worship team, Catherine, Malenga, and your team. Kite will be here so that you can be uh, seeing us if we do that.
Karibu yetu sikae mbali, sikae mbali. Lilia theru maka ingera. to be my mom's son, to be my mom's pastor. For 20 years plus, mimi diya ni mekua mchunga ajiwake. And uh, I, I will talk more about me and mother as her pastor to kifika uko kanisani. But I want to say thank you very much for coming. Uh, you will be very surprised because the story is the same. She has gone to be with her creator. Yes. The journey when she started, when she gave her life to Christ, she began the journey home. Now, if you are not saved, listen, you have also started a journey somewhere. The other place, I tango in Yumbani, because there is no home there. So, yes, we are listening to the And home is in Ajengwa. The other place, Atasiju, Adume, uh, people are told you are going where? I don't even know. But mom began going home. See here. Modo ainukaga kwao. Is that true? Yes. You go home where you belong. Yes. My mom belonged yes. Yes. in the presence of Jesus. Yes. And that's where she is. Yes. So, we encourage you to send our mom home with tears, with laughter, with joy, however you want. 
uko na uhuru si ndio and uh, this to me is a celebration of victory saying goodbye to my mother and to a very faithful mushirika mwenye nime pasta so god bless you all thank you for coming na tukumbuke to support one another hakuna mtu ambaye na strength 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 yeah to hatuna nguvu sometime i have sometime i don't have but today tusaidiane thank you very much and god bless amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nina ongea maneno madogo sana ndio tuondoke hapa tuende safari. Mwenye amesoma neno pale kitabu cha ufunuo 14 na mstari wa 13 kuna kitu ameguzia ningependa tufikirie tunapokwenda. Amesema na matendo yake yatamfuata. Kwa hivyo mambo mengine tutawacha duniani. Elimu ulio nayo magari ulio nayo watoto ulio nao majumba na dhahabu zote tutaziwacha hapa na nashangaa kwa sababu yale mambo yanayozuia usimkubali Yesu utayaacha hapa kama ingewezekana yale mambo yanazuia usimkubali Yesu uyabebe ningekuambia kweli umefanya kitu cha busara lakini kama mambo yale yanakuzuia kuokoka ndio utayawacha hapa sani hii ya kuokoka na wakati ndio huu Bwana asifiwe sana kwa hivyo msife moyo mana mama ameenda nyumbani sisi hatuna shaka in fact mimi siogopi ninajua nimemjua kwa muda mfupi sana lakini nilisema kanisani ni vizuri kujua mtu ambaye anaenda mbinguni kwa matendo yake Mama amekuwa na matendo hayahesabiki. Maisha ameishi maisha yanajulikana hata mtoto anajua. Ukimwambia huyu aongee kuhusu mama ataongea. Usiku na mchana mbali na karibu wakiwa na marafiki hata akiwa mgonjwa anaongea na anafanya matendo. Kwa hivyo pamoja na matendo yako mkubali Yesu maana anasema unasemaga kwamba Yesu ndiye muhuri wa kuingia mlangoni wa mbinguni kabisa. Peke yake damu hiyo ndio itafanya ukubalishwe uingie mbinguni unakumbuka wakati wa wa wa, wa Passover pas, ndio mwekwa mimo ya milango yenu na malaika wa kifo akija hata wadhuru Joshua hivyo hivyo alimwambia Rahabu kahaba ma, wakati wa chinja chinja vaeni vitambaa vyekundu ishara ya kwamba nyinyi mmeshateuliwa na mmepakwa damu kwa hivyo sasa asubuhi ya leo kama hujaokoka mimi nasemaga kwamba sikulazimishi na sikubembelezi na tena sikutishi maana utishagwi si ndio au sitishikagi lakini hii ni kweli utaenda mama imetangulia naomba tumfuate kwa matendo na wokovu katika jina la Yesu hebu tuombe baba wetu wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu tumekushukuru leo tarehe hii na wakati huu na mahali hapa jina lako libarikiwe Tunaomba furaha ijayo watu hawa wote ili tuweze kumsindikisha mama kwa hiyo furaha kubwa na kujua kwamba hakupotea hatukumpoteza tumemuwini maana yuko mbinguni kwako tusaidie nasi kumfuata na kuja kwako tupumzike na yeye milele mahali tulipotamani na kupenda kuja miguuni pa Yesu asante bwana naomba amani kubwa itawala watu hawa wote wa jina la Yesu Tunapoanza safari ya kwenda kanisani ninaomba utenganishe na magari yale mengine mikosi ya barabara na shughuli zote za barabara tufikishe kule ili ibada hii ifanikiwe mpaka mwisho takapofika langata kupumzisha mwili wa mama yetu kwa kuomba Yesu Kristo bwana na mokozi naomba na kuamini amina barikiwe invite uh, Anthony Mwangi who will give us the protocols on the movement from here Okay, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Uh, najua leo ni siku kuu tunakuja kusindikiza mama yetu. Mm. And now hatuta hatuna haraka. Ambia mwingi jirani yako hatuna haraka. We are not in a hurry. Yes. Yes. Kwa sababu hata mama hakuanga na haraka. Yes, yes Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. So what we are going to do uh, tuna pikipiki mbili ambazo zitatuongoza za polisi. We want to take 40 minutes from here to
tutagureti kona Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church. Sawa sawa. And I will kindly ask every driver if you are with us. Please usikuwe na haraka ya kukimbia. You go utafuata hii magari na tutaenda mlolongo hatujarishi. We have that power. We have the authority. Simu naona hata tuko na police wana tuongoza. So nobody atakwambia kaa kando. Sawa sawa. And we will follow this car. We are going to start with the the police will be ahead of us pamoja na Jose and then he gari ndio itafuata hebu niona hiyo plate number kidogo KBX ndio itakuwa imefuata ndio inabeba bishop alafu hii KCJ hiyo ikifuata haya magari mengine yote and especially those from the families ndio watafuata hao hao wengine tutawafuata nyuma sawa sawa and i think that is the protocol uh, tukifika kanisani we will know what to do next sawa sawa yes. so tuingieni kwa magari zetu kwa wale ambao mlikuja na basi tutarudi kwa basi sawa sawa na kama hauna gari unaweza niona uniambie mimi sina gari we will sort out with you sawa sawa so you are welcome to get into your car sasa ingirai gari ni Just stop. 
ไปดูเลยโดยนอนเนี่ยไปดูเลยก็มีอาเบเรดาคลีตเพจเยอะเกะเอ็นน้อยอายุที่บุเรเอเวเกียบไปดูเลยเวกาเทเรดาคลีต
sote tutasimama na mimi kuo malikiwa kwa tayari ili kwamba usindikishe mwili wa dada yetu tafadhali tuko tayari tujulishe I can see it in your eyes that you are restless The time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be As you step out on the road I'll say a prayer so that in my heart, you always will be there This is not goodbye I know we'll meet again So let your life begin Cause this is not goodbye It's just I love you to take with you Until you're home Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise. But you were made to change the world. So don't let fear stop you now, cause this is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. To Pebana Makofi Mazur. Queens don't go, don't go yet. Queens don't go yet. Don't go yet. Let's join together in this song. Lady Adheru Makaigera Kaine Gweda Kakoro Ho. Tungane Pamoja Kowimbo Ho. In Kikuyu. Kwa Kingereza na Kwa Kikuyu. Lady Adheru Makaigera.
side, this side. That's where you'll be seated, the seats there. Hapo ndipo ambapo mtaketi kwenye viti hivyo. The seats right at the end. Viti bilivyo pale mwisho. The seats on this side are reserved for the family. Viti bilivyo ko hapa ni vya jamii. The seats on this side are reserved for dignitaries and um, friends from the UK. Viti vya upande huu ni vya marafiki wetu kutoka UK pia na waheshimiwa. The friends from the UK. Marafiki kutoka UK. All those seats are reserved for you from the third low. Viti vya vyote ni vya inu kuanzia pale viti vya tatu. And I believe it's going to be well. Amini komba itakuwa salama. Let me, let me invite Pastor Randy to come and open for us with a word of prayer. Mwalika mchungaji Randy aja tufungulia kwa maombi. And also do the opening scripture. Akisha tusome andiko la kufungua. Let's pray together. Tuombe pamoja. Mungu baba tumeshukuru sana kwa sababu ukweli tunajua uko pamoja na sisi hapa. Father God we want to thank you so much for we know that you are with us here. You are a God of power. Wewe ni Mungu wa nguvu. A God of grace and Mungu, mercy. Mungu wa neema na rehema. You are the prince of peace. Wewe ni mfalme wa amani. We ask you and we know that you will fill this place with your presence. Tunakuomba na tunajua kwamba umejaza mahali hapa kwa uwepo wako. Everything that happens here today is about you first. Kila chote kinachotendeka hapa ni kwa ajili yako kwanza. You are God alone in this church. Wewe ndiwe Mungu pekee kanisani hapa. You are God of every heart that is here. Wewe ni Mungu wa kila moyo ulioko hapa. And we want your agenda here. Na na tunaomba ya kwamba madhumuni yako yatendeke hapa. Touch lives today. Guza maisha hapa. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Tujaze kwa roho yako mtakatifu. And give us the joy of the Holy Spirit. Na utupe furaha ya roho mtakatifu. We walk together with you in this moment. Tunatembea pamoja na wewe wakati huu. And we commit all that we are about to your agenda. Na tukabidhi yote kwa madhumuni yako. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to open with our scripture from the book of Revelation. Tungependa kufungua kwa andiko kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana. The 14th chapter. Sura ya 14 and the 13th verse only. Mstari wa 13 pekee. Let's Here. all stand for the reading of the word. Sote tusimame kwa kusoma neno la Mungu. And I heard a voice from heaven saying. Kisha nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema. Write this down. Yandike maneno haya. Blessed are those who die in the Lord. Heri wafao katika Bwana. From now kwanzia, onward. Kwanzia sasa kuendelea. Yes, says the Spirit. Naam asema roho. They are blessed indeed. Hao ni heri kweli kweli. For they will rest from their hard work. Maana watapumzishwa kazi yao ngumu. For their good deeds will follow them na matendo yao mema yatawafuata the word of the lord hilo ni neno la bwana amen as amen. we as we usher the worship team tunapokaribisha kikundi cha kuabudu mungu we will be doing this song bwana usehemu yangu rafiki yangu kweli as the worship team comes tutakuwa tunaimba wimbo huo the lord is my portion indeed wakati kikundi kinapokuja bwana usehemu yangu yangu wewe katika safari yangu natembea na wewe pamoja pamoja
him you can read us in praise and worship hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah bona yesu asifiwe hallelujah bona ndio washo bona yesu asifiwe amen amen we serve a god one song margaret one song Very quickly yes we we'll okay. come to praise later we gai ota ota go ore na kanare we gai ota ota go mete ona mete we gai ota ota go ore na kanare we gai ota ota go have your seats and god bless you we are here to celebrate the goodness of the lord tuko hapa kusherekea uzuri wa bwana amen we are here to celebrate the good of the goodness of the lord tumekuja hapa kusherekea uzuri wa mungu so we do want to ask you very kindly tungependa kuomba tafadhali have a celebratory mood tafadhali kuwa na na, na hali ya kusherekea because our mom has finished the race manake mama wetu amemaliza mbio zake she has kept the faith ameifadhi imani and we have no doubt that a crown has already been given to her na hatuna shaka kweli amepata taji so we thank god for you who are here tuamshukuru mungu kwa ajili ya nyote mlioko hapa and those of you that will be on the way coming na wote ambao wako njiani wanakuja those that are watching us online wanao tutazama kwenye mtandao god bless you mungu awabariki let me have one microphone here tafadhali nipate kipaza sauti mmoja hapa right here hapo if i invite you to make a speech kama nikikualika uzungumze please be brief tafadhali ongea maneno machache and to the point na pia useme and when you see me stand ukishamaliza you know it's time to end ukiona nikisimama juu ya komba ni wakati wa kumaliza be brief tafadhali kuwa mfupi and to the point na pia useme point yako and when you see me stand ukiniona nikisimama you know it's time to end 
Ujue kwamba ni wakati wa kumaliza. When you come to give you a speech, ukija hapa kuzungumza, kindly come through this side. Tafadhali upitie upande hule. Through this side because the microphone will be on this side. Upande huu wa kushoto maana yake microphone iko pale. And I think that will be okay. Na nafikiria kwamba hiyo itakuwa sawa. If you had and understood what I said, do this to me. Kama haujaelewa ambacho nimesema, kama umeelewa kila ambacho nimesema. That's why I was repeating. If you had and understood, kama umesikia na kuelewa what I said, ambacho nimesema, do this to me. Tafadhali nipungie mkono. So that I'm sure we are communicating. Ili kwamba nijue kwamba tunazungumza. Amen. Amina. Uh, we want to start our speeches. Ningependa tuanze mazungumzo yetu. And we will start with friends. Na tutaanza na marafiki. And the first friend is Jacinta Jerry. Na rafiki wa kwanza atakuwa ni Jacinta Anjeri. Jacinta Jerry ako wewe hakuhe. Kama uko karibu Jacinta Anjeri. Please come. Tafadhali karibia. So that we can you can give your tribute. Ili kwamba utoe rotuba yako. Jacinta Jerry. Amen. As Jacinta prepares herself to come if she's around. Jacinta anapojianda kama yuko hapa. Helen Batia. Helen Batia. Be ready. Tafadhali kuwa tayari. Na Helen yako wewe tebere ya Jacinta. Na kama Helen uko mbele ya Jacinta uko tayari. Uh, Helen no okay. Tafadhali unaweza kuja. Amen. Amina. You realize that we started as we had said we would start at 10. Magundua kwamba tulianza kama tulivyosema kwamba tutaanza saa 4. Because we intend to finish when we had said we will finish. Maana tunakusudia kumaliza kama tulivyosema. So they are not here. Hivyo kama hawako hapa. We will accommodate them later. Tutawapatia nafasi baadaye. Time allowing wakati kama muda utaturuhusu uh, Jacinta Jacinta hajafika uh, Helen Helen hajafika bado Now do we have any representative from the government Je tuna mwakilishi yote kutoka kwenye serikali Either the chief of this area Labda chief wa, wa area hii The assistant chief ama chief msaidizi The county commissioner ama commissioner wa county All the regional commander ama commander wa region do we have any of them tuna moja baadhi hao ambao nimetaja amen amina if they are not here we will move on kama hawako hapa tutaendelea but i also want to say kiningependa kusema the only friend who never fails rafiki wa pekee ambaye hata kata kuja the only friend who never fails you rafiki wa pekee ambaye hata kuangusha is jesus ni yesu amen amina ah uh, that's okay iko sawa We don't have any government representative here. Hatuna mwakilishi yoyote wa serikali hapa. We don't. Hatuna. Okay, fine. We move on. All right, tunaendelea. Uh, we want to get into the Cornerstone family. Tungependa kuingia kwenye familia ya Cornerstone. And we will start with the Queen Chair Lady Catherine Kamau. Na tutaanza na mwenyekiti wa Malkia ambaye anaitwa Catherine Kamau. Give her a hand clap as she comes. Tumpe makofi mazuri anapokuja. The name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah, my name is Catherine Kamau. Jina yangu ni Catherine Kamau. I am born again. Nimeokoka. I love the Lord Jesus Christ so so much. Napenda Bwana Yesu Kristo zaidi. I stand here on behalf of the Cornerstone Fellowship of Queens. Are they in the house? Ninasimama hapa kwa niaba ya ushirika wa Malkia wako kwenye nyumba. I have not heard you. Are you in the house? Sijawasikia mko kwenye nyumba. Now we are here to give a tribute uh, regarding mom. Tuko hapa kuzungumzie ya kuhusu mama because she was a mom to all of us. Maana alikuwa mama kwetu sote. Mom as we fondly remembered referred to her. Mom kama jinsi ambavyo tulimuita. Warm in hearts. She, her qualities were incomparable. She was a mother to all. One of her major attributes was that she had a word for all. The youth, the singles and the married. For those who interacted with her have no excuse not to succeed. She was not selfish with information and used to give her life history to anyone and everybody just so that you may not you may know that you can succeed in whatever circumstances you are in. She was a great advisor. Mom was a great encourager. Anytime You went to see her either in hospital or at her home. She would talk to you, encourage you to encourage you instead of you encouraging her. She would always leave you with a word to meditate on for a while. Her love for the work of God was immeasurable. At one point in time, when we had a mission in Moya, 
Mom said she would not be left behind. And so pillows were placed on her back in order for her to travel the long distance together with the other queens. On getting to Moya, she ministered for about two hours nonstop under heavy anointing and great wisdom. Amen? I think we, she deserves a clap. What a memorable time it was. Anytime we had a queen's presentation in church, she would walk slowly and join the queens and join the rest of us. And for this, we had to make sure that we sang a Kikuyu song in order to accommodate her. Mom was a very great supporter of the Queen's Fellowship and never missed to give her monthly contribution. Amen? Even at her old age. She was a good example of a faithful steward. She never tired to remind the Queen's that they needed to take care of themselves their spouses and their children as that was their God-given responsibility. She was a woman of great faith that influenced and impacted anybody who came into contact with her. Our prayer as queens and everybody in the house is that we may imitate her and finish well like she did. Rest well, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Catherine. Asante sana, Catherine. Um, let me let me do a quick correction. Is Jacinta here? Jacinta or Helen? Lerekebisha kidogo. J. Helen, ama Jacinta, yuko hapa. They are not here. Hawako hapa. Okay. Before Mam came to Cornerstone Faith Assembly, kabla Mama aje kwenye kanisa ili la Cornerstone Faith Assembly. She was a member of KAG. Alikuwa mshirika wa Kenya Assembly. And she was actually the queen chair lady there. Na alikuwa mwenye kiti wa maliki ya kule. Now when she left, alipoondoka kule, somebody took over. Mwingine alichukua hiyo nafasi. And she's the regional uh, chair lady of the women in KAG. Na yeye ni mwenye kiti wa eneo katika kanisa la KAG. And also a friend of Mam. Pia ni rafiki wa Mama. Allow me to invite uh, Pastor Paulin Maina. Niruhusu ni mwalike mchungaji Paulin Maina to say a few things about Mam. Aje aseme mambo machache kumhusu Mama. As a friend kama rafiki give her a hand clap as she comes to pigie makofi mazuri anapokuja thank you give her a hand clap until she gets here tupongeze hadi aje hapa amen amen thank you polin asante polin speak on behalf of friends and your friend mama bwana sipiwe kanisa praise the lord church my name is Reverend Paul in Maina. I love Jesus for saving me and promised me eternal life. Praise the Lord. When I talk about uh, uh, issues concerning Mama Selim, I used to work with her as her secretary. And this mama, just as the way people have said concerning her, that is how she was. She was meek. She loved the work of the Lord. And she could advise us. Because that time I was still young. And where I am at today, it is because of mama that time she was mama section I was her secretary and now I, I am the head of uh, Kiambu district praise the Lord I also work alongside my husband uh, we pastor in Delhi KJ Church. Tuko kwenye kanisa la Nderi Kenya Assemblies of God. Bwana sana. Amen. Kile nataka kuwaeleza walio kwenye nyumba hili. One thing that I would like to tell each one of you that is in this Mama house. Mama Zedia melala pamoja na Bwana. Mama has rested together with the Lord. Na kama vile tu imesemwa. And just as it has been said. Kufurahi ni wao wamelala. Blessed are those that are sleeping. Kwa sababu matendo yao yatawafuata. Because their deeds shall follow them. Sisi tumeachwa. As that are left. Ni tumeachwa na kazi ya kufa we have been left with a task to do and to work hard so that we may finish just like Mama. And the Bible says, 
that it is important that each one of us there shall stand that all of us shall stand before the throne of Jesus and we shall be rewarded according to, the, to what we did in flesh. And I felt that I, I was I could not be I could not remain at home. I came to celebrate this victor. of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. For sure she is victorious. And when we say that we have come for a wedding, we are not lying. Praise the Lord. And may Amen. You. Amen. Thank you, Pauline. Asante sana Pauline for those kind words. Commandant Ohio Mazuri. When mom was not able to come to church, wakati mom angeza kuja kanisani. There is a group that used to go and visit her in Gekambura. Kunacho kikundi ambacho kilimtembelea kule Gekambura. And go have kesha's with the ham. Na wangeenda mikesha hadi katikati pamoja na wao. And they used to call themselves the Gekambura Fellowship. Walikuwa wanajiita ushirika wa Gekambura. Gekambura Fellowship kama mungekuwa hapa mungeiba wibo. If Gekambura Fellowship, you are here, you could have sing a song. Kama siyo hivyo, nitasema vile mulifanya, mulipo enda kwa shoshu. Failure to that, I'll tell people what you did when you went to shoshos. Please come quickly, come quickly, do a song. Tafadhali njoni upesi na muimbe wimbo. One song and do it fast. Wimbo moja na muimbe kwa upesi. Amen. Amen. This is Gekambura Fellowship. And to consult Negai Waira Mwana Wake Yao the Maki Toto Negwa the Pieta Kufu Nakuga Tore Tone Moshe Tore Maru Naraika. I 
Saitani. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Kabura Fellowship, God bless you. Shirika huo Mungu awabariki. That's a lovely song. Huo ni wimbo wa kupendeza. Amen. Amina. Let me remind those of you that have come after I had spoken. Niwakumbushe wale ambao umeingia baada ya mimi kuzungumza. That this side is for the clergy. Kwamba upande huu ni wahubiri. Irrespective of which church you minister. Kando na kanisa unalo hudumu. That side is for the clergy. Upande huo ni wahubiri. This other side is for the queens. Upande huu mwingine ni wa malkia. And any other space is available for anybody who comes after now. Nafasi nyingine yoyote ambayo itakuwa wazi ni ya kila mmoja atakaingia baada ya saa hizi. But we do have a few seats reserved here for the um friends from the UK. Lakini tuna viti vichache ambavyo vimehifadhiwa marafiki kutoka na pia wa UK ni hivyo. Thank you. Amen. Uh, allow me to invite Pastor Randy Courts to make a few remarks. Ni mwalike mchungaji Randy Courts aje azungumze machache. On behalf of the pastors of Cornerstone Faith Assembly, put your hands together Kwa for Randy Courts. Kwa niaba mchungaji wa Cornerstone Faith Assembly, tupige makofi. Bwana asifiwe. Most of you you know uh, you know Mama Bishop wengi wenu unamjua mamake askofu me i always knew mama sede mimi namjua kama mama sede hata sasa hii mimi sijui sede ni nani even right now i don't know who sede is but uh, i can say for me hata bibi yangu Becky who is with us today Naweza nikasema mimi pamoja na my wife ambaye yako pamoja nasi leo Becky. I am a better man and a better pastor because of Mama Sede's influence. Nimekuwa jinsi nilivyo mtu mzuri kwa ajili ya ya uguzo wa Mama Sede. What I love about her is uh, Mama Sede could always choose to talk to me. Na nilichojifundisha kutoka kwake ni kwamba kila mara alikuwa ananizungumzia. And most of you know yeah 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 I do it in Galeza nzuri. Na wengine wenu mnajua ya kwamba she was not so much familiar with English. And uh, kikuyu yangu hakuna. And also I don't know kikuyu. So we could always meet somewhere with uh, ki- Kiswahili yangu ni chafu na ye ye aliongea na mimi ni mimi nilisikia kidogo kidogo and sometimes you could communicate in swahili and i could just hear a few words and many of you you are afraid even now to talk to to that mzungu na kiingereza yako na wengine wenu hata sasa hizi mnaogopa kuzungumzia mzungu huyu with your english but mama said they could always call me lakini mama said angenipigia simu until even if i passed that vehicle she could send joro ama jimmy to to find me like i'm being sent to prefect's office ama hata lazima tu angemtuma mmoja wao aje aniite kama amani inaituma kwenye ofisi ya kinara always to encourage me in the work of god kila mara kunitia moyo kwenye kazi ya mungu always to tell me how much she loves my wife na kila mara kuniambia jinsi anavyompenda mke wangu and then the fearful thing is that woman had a memory na jambo la kuogofia zaidi ni kwamba alikuwa na kumbukumbu she can remember everything i've ever preached anaweza kumbuka vyote nilivyohubiri and some of you preachers know you don't want want everything you preach to be remembered. Na wengine wahubiri ambao mko hapa mnajua kwamba huwezi taka kila kitu ambacho umehubiri kikumbukwe. Until she could preach back to me even things I don't think I said. Hata angenihubiria hiyo hata mambo ambayo sikufikiria kwamba nilisema. Always the encourager for me in this work. Kila mara alinitia moyo na kwenye kazi hii. Together with my wife even when things were not easy. Pamoja na mke wangu hata wakati mambo yakuwa sawa. And I thank God that that influence will continue as long as I stand in this work. Namshukuru Mungu sana maana uguzo huu utaendelea ninapoendelea kusimama kwenye kazi hii. I love her. Ninampenda. I will continue to honor her always. Nitaendelea kumheshimu kila mara. And I am jealous amefika ushago. Na nina wivu kwamba she's already home. And we thank God that we are all following in her footsteps. Tunashukuru Mungu maana yake tunafuata hatua zake. Gaya muradi me. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Thank you. Thank you Pastor. Amen. Asante mchungaji. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. Sote tusimame. Let's all stand. Sote tusimame. Dige hota. Mungu shoke. Wega wa
sit. Mnaweza keti. We going to the next item in our program. Tunaenda kwenye hatua ile nyingine kwenye in our program katika program yetu and these are the tributes by the family hizi ni heshima kutoka kwenye jamii we we'll start with her sister scholastica wangare kiruri tutaanza na dada yake ambaye anaitwa scholastica wangare kiruri scholastica wangare scholastica wangare wherever you are popote ulipo uh, find your way tafadhali jo hapa mbele to the front ili ufike hapa mbele amen amina this is mom's blood sister huyu ni dada ya mama ambao amezaliwa pamoja naye and mom's spiritual sister na pia ni dada wa kiroho let her come tafadhali mruhusu aje and she will be here in a moment atakuwa hapa kwa kitambo kidogo amen amina in a mo- moment ni kitambo kidogo oh kitambo kidogo yes. okay thank you asante Go ahead scholastica pay your tribute to your mom. Endelea scholastica umpe heshima mama. To your sister, to your sister. Kwa dada yako. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Praise the Lord church. Nashukuru Mungu kwa wakati huu sababu kila kitu inafanyika Mungu ndiye huwa anafanya. I thank God for this moment because all things that happens it's God who works who does them. Na hakuna kitu inatoka Mungu nyuma and there is nothing that comes uh, from behind yote ina anafanya akijua vile anatenda na vile anaona ni mzuri everything happens uh, according to god's will mimi nimeokoka ninampenda Yesu i'm born again and i love jesus na nafurahia neema yake sababu kama sio Mungu I rejoice in his grace because we are it not for God. I don't know where we could be. Ndio ni kweli mimi ni dada ya ya mama bishop. It's true that I'm a sister to mama bishop. Na mimi ndiye mdogo kwa familia yetu. I'm I'm the last born in our family. Na nimekuwa nikiwa kama chini ya mama mama said the sababu nikiwa vile niko mdogo ndio nilikuwa naenda nikitoka shule naenda kumsaidia kushika watoto na kufanya kazi zake za ile anafanya kazi I've grown under her care because when I was in school I could go to her, her house to take care of her children saa singine mnajua wafanyi kazi huaga wanatoroka ama wanaenda wanakosa kurudi and sometimes you know that those people who help us at home sometimes they go away asa hiyo nikiwa primary nilikuwa natoka shule those days when i was in primary i could come out of school na sababu wakati ule alikuwa akifanya kazi ya ufundi kushona manguo because that time she was working as a tailor kwa hivyo nilikuwa natoka shule so i could come out of school na ninaenda kumsaidia sa ile hawa wasichana wa kazi sa ingine hawako go and help her when her house managers were not kwa hivyo the, nimekuwa nikikaa kama mtoto wake huko nyuma I've been as like a child ataigawa mimi ndio mdogo kwa familia yetu though I'm the last born in our family kwa hivyo wakati huu kukifika hivyo ameenda nimesikia uzito sana so the way she has left it has been so heavy on me lakini nashukuru Mungu sababu vile nimeokoka na alikuwa ameokoka hata wazazi walikuwa ameokoka na vile na pia walienda but i thank god because she was born again i'm born again and my parents were born again and they left walienda kwanza baba na mama wakiwa pamoja mama and dad, uh, and dad left at uh, the same time na walikuwa wametuaga wanae wataenda and they had already told us that they were, they were to go pia nilikuwa nikikumbuka saa ile tunaongea na my sister kila wakati na simu and every time i could talk to my sister i was remembering vile wazazi walienda na vile ananiambia naye wakati mnakuwa mngumu how our parents went and how she, was, she could tell me how hard the situation was lakini nashukuru Mungu sababu jia ni ya Mungu sio ya mtu but i want to thank god because the way is the lords and not man's wakati vile imefika tunashukuru tukiomba Mungu atusaidie wale wamebaki tukae na tudumishe imani yetu katika Bwana Yesu and now us that are left behind let's stay and keep our faith in the Lord Jesus sababu si vitu rahisi ya kuchukua hivyo lakini Mungu akiwa tukiwa ndani yake 
njia iko. Because this is not something to just take lightly but when God is there there is a way. Sitaongea mengi sababu kila mtu tukiwa pamoja tutaendelea kuendelea kufanya hii hali ya mazishi. I won't talk much because uh, but because we are together we are going to, to uh, complete the funeral. Bwana wabariki. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much Scholastica. Mungu akubariki sana Scholastica. The next person is Kano Kairigo. Mtu anayefuata ni Kano Kairigo who is uh, an in-law ambaye ni mkwe uh, to mom. Mkwe wa mom. Um is my good friend Kano Kairigo. Yes, I can see him. Ni rafiki yangu mzuri sana na bwana. Yeah, Kano Kairigo is uh, Jackie's mom, her uh, dad. Uh, ni babake Jackie. Uh, Munacheka nikisema mamu, kama ni nyinyi hii kizungu yote ni meongea na, na, na badu na jaribu. <laughs> yeah, Kano Kairigo is uh, Jackie's dad. Kano Kairigo ni babake Jackie. And Jackie is uh, Kiratu's um, uh, wife. Na Jackie ni mke wa, ki, wa Kiratu. And uh, Kiratu is uh, Bishop Kamau's uh, brother. Na kiratu ni ndugui ya skofu kama huu. And for record purposes, those of you that are hearing Mama Sidi, Mama Sidi, and you don't know who Sidi is. Na kwa sababu ya nakala wala wana mba wanasikia Mama Sidi, Sidi na ujui Sidi na nini. Itabidi ukaya hivyo mpaka muisho. Can you just be that, like that? <laughs> Weo kia mpano kairigo. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Praise God, church. Buwana sifuwe kanisa. I've already been introduced, uh, so I'm not going to say much but uh, i must start by saying that i'm not a very good public speaker so without notes i'm lost kwa hivyo ni lazima niseme kwamba mimi si mzungumzaji sana wa hadharani kwa hivyo bila kuandika nimepotea and i think I'll even, i might even be more nervous because she's next to me hata naweza kuwa na wasiwasi mwingi sana maana amenikaribia but uh, i i welcome the comfort lakini ninakaribisha hiyo kutiwa moyo. So I'm going to be very brief because uh, I just want to say five things about uh, Mama David. Nitasema machache tu mambo matano kuhusu mamake David. Or Mama Bishop. Ama mamake Skofu. I prefer Mama David. I think you know why. Nimuita tu Mama David na mnajua sababu. Now, um I want to start by uh, saying something that i've heard people particularly during the last uh, um church a, a funeral service for for mama ningependa kusema jambo ambalo nimesikia kutoka kwa wengi hasa kwenye ibada ya mwisho ya mama ile ya mwisho ya kanisa uh, the one that was on uh, what is it called on on online ile ambayo ilikuwa kwenye mtandao that was done in london before david came and uh, i was very glad to see all of them including the children ile ambayo ilifanyika kule london kabla david kuja na nilifurahi kuona pamoja na watoto forgive me for if, if I, 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 i sound like i'm repeating myself if i repeat some of the things that uh, uh, these things were uh, some of the things that were said by the people who uh, gave tributes to mama Tafadhali mtaniru msamehe wakati ambapo mtasikia kama narudia mambo ambayo yalizungumzwa na watu ambao walimpatia heshima mama pale awali. But let me start by saying that my impression of her was that she was a very calm and peaceful personality. That, that that's what I, I I I always took when I was with her. She was calm. Alikuwa mtu mtulivu. And peaceful. Mtu wa amani. And uh, you just couldn't i couldn't take my 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 mind from the way the way she was nasingeondosha mawazo yangu kutoka jinsi alivyokuwa because i find those qualities very attractive in in a lady of her age maana ninapata mambo hayo yakipendeza sana kwa mama mwenye umri wake now and of course having those qualities is very very rare akuwa na mambo hayo ni haipatikani kwa uraisi you don't see it very often in a lot of people hauioni sana sana kwa watu wengi but mama bishop really had that quality and i think everybody especially the ladies of this church kini mama askofu alikuwa na mambo haya na ninafikiria hata malikiwa kanisa hili would agree with me mtakubaliana na mimi that she was special in, in that respect kwamba alikuwa speciali kwenye hiyo eneo 
Secondly, jambo la pili. I got the impression that she was a, 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 a woman or a lady of very few words. Alikuwa mama ambaye alikuwa na maneno machache mno. How many of you agree with me? Ngapi mnakubaliana na mimi? She really was of very few words and when she spoke, alikuwa na maneno machache sana na kila mara aliponena, it was always well thought out, well 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 presented. Yalikuwa ni maneno ambayo aliwazia kwanza na pia kuwazungumza vizuri. And I must say that uh, Bishop and uh, all your brothers and sisters all the way up to Gadoni. Na ningependa kusema askofu pamoja na ndugu zako na dada zako wote. You had a wonderful mother. Mlikuwa na mama wa kipekee. And she eventually became my friend and we used to go and visit her often me and mama mama Jaki. Mama Jaki would you Stay Alikuwa rafiki yangu kabisa na tulikuwa tunamtembelea mimi pamoja na mama yake Jaki. That is my my wife and uh, Jackie's mke wangu and we used to visit mama 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 David very often. Na tulikuwa tunamtembelea mama yake uh, David kila mara. Now the other thing that I want to say about her that I I I this is from a testimony that I I, I got from from a friend from somebody i know Jambo hili lingine ambalo ningependa kusema na ni ushuhuda kwa ambalo nilisikia kutoka kwa mtu ambaye ninamjua That bishop and David and the rest of you kwamba askofu David na wengine wenyote Your mother was a powerful and effective encourager Mama wenu alikuwa mtu wa kutia na moyo sana And I like I say I have at least one testimony of of somebody who shared na ni, kama nilivyosema ni kama niko na ushuhuda ya mtu ambaye alishiriki nami Somebody who shared uh, an encouragement that was given to her and ad- combined with advice mtu ambaye alishiriki ushauri pia na kutiwa moyo ambaye alipewa na yeye When she was very very low in her life wakati ambapo alikuwa chini sana kwenye maisha she had uh, had uh, some Terrible things happened to her. Alikuwa na mambo magumu sana aliyopatana nayo. Hard things, hard things, you know. Mambo magumu sana. And she was almost giving up on something that she was engaged in. Na alikuwa karibu kukata tamaa kwenye jambo ambalo alikuwa anafanya. And she told me that that lady akaniambia kwamba yule mama took her aside. Alimwekeleka kando. Gave her a talk. Akampati akazungumza naye. Compassionate. Katika hali ya dhati. Sensitive mambo ambayo ni ndani and that really helped her to turn around and go on with her life. Ili kumsaidia kugeuka na kuendelea na maisha yake. I am not free to mention the name. Mimi sina uhuru wa kutaja jina. But because I know they are here. Na kwa sababu najua wako hapa. I am sure she will she will remember. Nina uhakika kwamba atakumbuka. When she shared that with me. Wakati aliposhiriki na mimi. Now. Sasa The fourth thing is that uh, Mama David has always had a reputation of hard work. Jambo lingine ni kwamba mama yake David alikuwa na sifa za kufanya bidii. And it was most apparent when she was an accomplished tailor in a place called Vigio. Na ni kweli alikuwa na sifa za kuwa fundi wa cherehani kule Vigio. Vigio is about 20 30 kilometers from you uh, from from here for you people who come from London. Ni kama kilomita 30 kutoka hapa kwa wale watu ambao wametoka ngambo. And it was always a very dry place. Na ilikuwa ni mahali ambapo palikuwa pakavu sana. Not much rain. Kuna mvua tele. And quite a lot of poverty. Na kulikuwa na umaskini kweli. And so she was a tailor in that little town. They had a shop in the in the earlier days. Alikuwa na alikuwa fundi wa kushona nguo pale katika mji wa Thigio. And there's a time I remember she told me she shared with me me and mama Waidera. Nakumbuka kuna wakati alishiriki na mimi pamoja na mama yake Waidera. And she told me that uh, she remembers when she was working at her machine. Akaniambia kwamba anakumbuka alipokuwa akifanya kazi na cherehani yake. Countless times. Mara nyingi sana. Somebody would serve her lunch. Mtu angemletea chakula. And imagine she found it very very difficult to interrupt her work. Na alipata kuwa ni ngumu sana kusimamisha kazi yake. Just to have the meal. Ili ale. And often that meal will just go cold and um, she 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 She, she, she later did uh, 
Kila mara hiyo chakula ingepoa na baadaye akagundua kwamba haikuwa jambo nzuri. Akasema kwamba labda hiyo iliathiri afya yake nyakati zile. And there is a time uh, we went to see her recently and uh, it looks like she had realized the mistakes in that regard that she had done. Na kuna wakati tumeenda kumtembelea hivi majuzi na ni kama alikuwa ameshagundua kosa alilofanya wakati ule. And at that time she said when I am served my meal these days. Na wakati ule akasema ya kwamba ninapoletewa chakula changu siku hizi. I don't participate in any conversation you may continue talking Mimi sizungumzi tena wacha waendelee kuzungumza But these days I, I finish my meal Lakini siku hizi namaliza chakula changu And then after that we can talk Kisha baadaye tunaweza zungumza And this tells you that this is a lady who I uh, could correct her own mistakes once she realized what mistake she had made. Na hii inakwambia kwamba huyu alikuwa mama ambaye angejirekebisha kila mara alifanya kosa. So she had many qualities. Hivyo alikuwa na mambo mengi mazuri. But there's also one thing that that's really struck me. Na pia kuna jambo lingine ambalo liliguza. The difference there was between her and her husband Mzee Simon Kamau. Tofauti waliokuwa nayo yeye na mume wake Simon Kamau. Because I used to meet uh, Mzee Kamau, he was my in-law. Maana tulikuwa nakutana na Mzee Kamau maana yake alikuwa mke wangu. And Kikuyu was our town. Na Kikuyu ndio ilikuwa mji wetu. And any time we met, kila mara tulipokutana, he would never let me go until I had something, a cup of tea or anything. Hange niachilia niende kabla hajanirulia chai. But for those you who know who knew me Mzee Kamau, waliomjua Mzee Kamau, there was never a dull moment with him with him haungeka tu hivi hivi tu kwa na yeye and this uh, as i was thinking about it i thought uh, sometimes god partners us gives us a spouse nina nilipofikiria hivyo nikaona kwamba mungu wakati mwingine anatupatanisha hasa na wachumba who may be very different from you ambao anaweza kuwa tofauti sana na wewe as a way of complementing one another kama jinsi ya kutiana nguvu ama ukamilishana because really mama david and baba david were totally different kwa sababu kweli mama yake david na baba david walikuwa tofauti and so uh, it is true it may not happen to everybody but god does that sometimes gives you somebody who is totally opposite to you to complement you so that you can support one another ni kweli itaendele kila mara lakini wakati mwingine mungu anakupatia mtu ambaye ni tofauti na wewe ili kwamba mkamilishane and i think this is what happened with this couple nafikiria hivyo ndivyo ilivyotendeka that's it. the last thing that i want to say ya mwisho ambao ningependa kusema is to repeat a testimony that she gave us the last time we visited her on uh, i think it was on the 28th of february about a month and a half ago ni kurudia ushuhuda aliyotupatia nafikiria ilikuwa tarehe 28 mwezi wa pili and pastor randy she mentioned you na mchungaji randy alikutaja because there is a sermon that you gave in this church mara kunayo mahubiri uliohubiri hapa at a very very difficult time in her life wakati ambapo katika maisha yake alikuwa anapitia magumu um uh, mzee kamau was in hospital mzee kamau alikuwa kwenye hospitali uh, but she came to church lakini akaja kanisani and then you preached about uh, about uh, Peter kisha kuhubiri kuhusu Petro when he was challenged by Jesus wakati ambapo ali to walk on water towards him aliambiwa na Yesu atembelee juu ya maji akimuelekea and you said ukasema that Peter was all right as long as he had fixed his gaze on on Jesus ya kwamba Petro alikuwa sawa kama tu angeweka macho yake kwa Yesu but when he removed his gaze from Jesus and so the waves lakini alipondoa macho yake kwa Yesu akaanza kuona mawimbi you say that's when he started sinking nilisema kwamba hapo ndipo alipoanza kuzama and mama david has never forgotten that psalm na mama david hajawahi sahau mahubiri hayo she shared that uh, testimony with us i was with morin i i found her with uh, two lead, two young ladies morin and another one who were helping her alishiriki ushuhuda huo pamoja na bintu wengine wawili ambao niliwapata kule. And I think they remember that testimony. Najua kwamba wanakumbuka ushuhuda huo. She gave it with passion. Aliupatiana na dhati. And she it's like she has resolved in her, she had resolved in her life 
never to take her eyes off Jesus. Yaani kama alikuwa ameamua kwenye maisha yake kutondoa macho yake kwa Yesu. And she may have shared I, I suspect she may have shared that testimony to many other people. Na ninafikiria kwamba labda ameshiriki ushuhuda na watu wengine wengi. But I had the impression it was deep deep in her heart. Lakini nina hisia kwamba ilikuwa kutoka kwenye kilindini cha moyo wake. And because it was just a few uh, a few weeks away. Lakini kwa sababu pia ilikuwa majuma machache tu. I want to believe even at the time that she passed on. Ningependa kuamini hata wakati alipofariki. She still had that testimony and she still had that passion. Angali alikuwa na dhati ile na ushuhuda huo. And because of this I think she must be in the present of Jesus now. Na kwa ajili ya hiyo ninaamini ako katika uwepo wa Yesu sasa. I had a sense that that testimony and that 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 sermon really touched her heart. Maana ninaamini ushuhuda huo na mahubiri hayo yaliguza moyo wake. So I was very encouraged. Hivyo nikatiwa moyo sana. Thank you very much. I can see him approach. Asante sana, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kano Kairigo. Asante sana, Baba Iribo. Kano Kairigo not Baba Iribo. Kano Kairigo. Uh you'll agree with me it's a bit difficult to tell somebody like Kano to Acha kuongea. Utakubaliana na mimi ya kwamba ni vigumu sana kumwambia mtu kama Kano Kairigo. Because him, him and a few others who are right behind him. Maana yeye pamoja na wachache ambao wako nyuma yake. We are now getting slowly into the age of talking. Sasa tunakaribia sasa umri wa kuongea. So let us talk. Acha tu tuongee. There is something he has said about kuna, mom. Kuna kitu ambacho amesema kuhusu mama. And this was serious English. Na hii ilikuwa ni Kiingereza kweli. That mom kwamba mama would only speak angenena tu when she has thought out well wakati amewazia vizuri and presented it well na kuisema vizuri well thought out and well presented kuwaza vizuri na kuzungumza vizuri this is to say hii kusema bazara here wengi wetu ambao if you don't get anything else from this service kama hutapata chochote kwenye ibada in future If you have to speak kama utazungumza think well fikiria vizuri and present it well let's give mama heart clap tupigie mama makofi mazuri amen our next speaker mnenaji wetu anayefuata is a good friend of this church ni rafiki mzuri wa kanisa hili tumuita baba wa weru huwa tunamuita baba wa weru can you take the microphone to where he is tafadhali mpelekee kipasa sauti e kwali ya hau wali atazungumza akiwa hapo anakwenda kukaa hapa hapa ulio kujira ama anataka kuja hapa njoo wewe ni kukutikilia na ugere mwenye kiagere yo hapa ni mruhusu apitie pande hii acha apitie pande hii bila imudhuri urohe tupigie mzee huyu makofi mudhuri huyo ni brother ya mr kamau mzee huyu ni ndugu yeye mr kamau bishop dad Babae askofu and he is here to pay his tribute. Na yuko hapa kutoa heshima zake. Na tonejoe ya kwali anage kuyuni huko mu interpreter. Maana ninajua atazungumza na kikuyuni cha tafsiri. Amen. Amina. Um Papa Dien. Muriega. Papa Dien. How are you? Mungu ni mwema. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. God is good. Wa hiyo mimi na salamu hii wote. I greet you I greet all of you. Kwa siku ya leo. Siku ya leo ni siku kubwa sana. Mwenye omo the mwenye mwenye na mno sababu ya Mungu. Ni todo wa Ngai. Sababu hii unaona marehemu anawekwa hapa. Ni todo hao mno namtiga ile ako metio. Ni wandugu yangu. Oyo ni wa ni wa muru wa maito. Kuna tu shida tu nake ambaye tumezaliwa na yeye akazaliwa nami nikazaliwa na nije kumha mbele akadiga na pia naye akaondoka tukachukua na mtumia wake ni huyo tukaachwa na mke wake ambaye yuko hapa na nige kinyile ha nige niandika na pia naye ameniacha wengi wangu wanatua shia leto katikati ya watu tuliozaliwa na wao ni maito na mama ya, na mama yangu mtu alimtika kuito nini yaliyebaki sasa kwetu ni mimi na tena miaka milongo 8 na nakeda na sasa niko na miaka 89 Kwa hiyo kitu hiyo ni ngiuga ngiugo. Jambo ningependa kusema ninasema hivi. Jelenga inyuega. Mwambie Mungu asanti. Tonia mkuu ama ikale hamwe. Maana amemchukua wakaina yeye. Na nige nige nenga makoya. Na pia nami nitawapata. Na nitakuwa ningeta. Hivyo nashukuru sana. 
Mimi ni kama nikufa amekufa. Ameenda nyumbani. Madhani wa Mungu imesema utakuja na urejee. Na kula mtu ambaye anaomba ruhusa ya kwenda. Ni Mungu usema. Alipokuleta mtu hafi kwa ajili ya kuzoeka anakufa kwa sababu ya siku zake ambazo alipewa na Mungu za kuishi hapa na pia ujue kabla hujamaliza kazi aliyokupa Mungu huwezi ondoka hadi utakapomaliza na ile siku utamaliza hiyo kazi hautalala na sio lazima ugonjeke ili ufe unaweza hata keti chini na ufe watu waanza kusema na tulikuwa na yeye amekufa vipi kwa hiyo Hivyo ni Mungu anayechukua watu. Hivyo ningependa kusema kama Mungu ni mwema. Kwa wote walioko hapa. Hata watoto wangu ambao wamewachwa. Tafadhali tuishi na wao. Adi watakaponipeleka mahali ambapo wamepeleka hawa. Adi atabidi sema ya kwamba tulikuwa na wao. Sasa walipuliponiacha hawakuniachilia. Mungu amani ya Mungu. Na wachia hapo. Na niambie Mungu wote walioko hapa. Waifadhi vizuri hata atakapoenda kumweka. Mahali mtu atakaporudi nitasema kwamba arudi na amani asante sana thank you thank you thank you kuolerai mudhuri usio ruhiruega tupigie makofi mazuri mzee thank you asante sana thank you asante nini deli lilia tena miaka 8 9 ikara kiokuo nimetamani hata nikifikisha hiyo miaka 89 nizungumze kama hiyo nini yes ninapokea miaka hizo 89 kuhotekeke inawezekana and you know what he said unajua kile ambacho kuwa gani kukuraka na kuruara haufi kwa sababu ya kuzunguka kama kuzunguka over siku zako zikiisha whether you are 20 or 30 kama uko na 20 ama 30 ama 40 ama 40 utaenda you just go kama siku zako hazijaisha na ngekoro dikoshi ya kutidhiru utakaka leo ikaraga amen amina na dio uko hapa kwa sababu siku zako hazijaisha na nikiwa wewe uko toodoma tuko makuti madhiru ero sio moliganeti ni siku zako hazijaisha ambia jirani yako kwamba matuko makuti madhiru amen amina let me invite the family to do a song nialike jamii ije imbe wimbo the family has a song jamii iko na wimbo and they will be doing that song na watakuwa na imba wimbo huo. Yesu ni kwedete. Yesu nakupenda. Family if you can come. Familia tafadhali kama unaweza kuja. Please come so that you can do this song. Tafadhali njoni ili mfanye wimbo huo. Let's give them a hard clap as they come. Tuwapigie makofi wanapokuja. Amen. Let's Amen. give them a hard clap as they come. Coffee. Family continue coming. Familia tuzidi kuja. Jesu ni gwedete ari kido gyakwa. Uhoro wa mehia ni wandi ndeinde. Muhono kia wakwa oke hono kia. Look 
Italiana Jesu toki ai goro na ge keno ke ge ge tana vida e garute wa go be je ke ro mo to e na re ne go kweda o ke na me Jesu e kweda ni kai o ti re mo da ni o ke ra o e i ke to ra mo ra na ga na ku e na de re kweda na na di ga ti ga Family, a hard clap. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Asante ni sana. For those two wonderful songs. Kwa sababu ya nyimbo hizo mbili ambazo nzaki peke. Those are songs that Shosho loved. Hizo ni nyimbo alizo zipenda Shosho. And uh, we are glad that we are able to sing them in her. Um, there's a friend of ours from UK, Mr. 
Togo, are you New York, New York, not UK. It... Kuna rafiki yetu ambaye ametoka New York. Mr. Gitogo, if you are here. Bwana Gitogo kama yuko hapa. Where are you? Where are you? Uko wapi? Is he here? If you are here, Kwa... please come. Tafadhali njo. Please come. Tafadhali njo. Give Mr. Gitogo a hand clap. Tupigie Mr. Gitogo makofi mazuri. Give Mr. Gitogo a hand clap until he gets here. Tupongeze Mr. Gitogo mako na makofi. Mr. Gitogo works together with the uh, uh, just come you just go the way. Joto. He works together with Gadoni in the U in the New York. Anafanya kazi pamoja na Gadoni kule New York. You know US and UK uh, the difference is only S and the K. Marekani na kule UK tofauti ni hiyo tu K. Kindly give your tributes. Tafadhali toa heshima zako. Thank you. Asante. Ah bwana asifiwe. Mother ya Goshua. Naitwa Jorogi Kitogo. Jitawa Jorogi Kitogo. tunafanya kazi na Lucy New York. Jitawa Jorogi Kitogo na tutawira na Lucy Korea New York. Ah. Uh, okay, about uh, when when we received the news ilikuwa ni a bit hard on Lucy, but uh, she's remained strong. Dear to Amokeli and Domberi, no, while you are only to Monohale Lucy, no, Donna Ena Hina. And uh, I was traveling to to Kenya for some work, so when we interacted at work, uh, our balozi is called Ambassador Martin Kimani. Then we went in a safari to Japan, Kenya, to Ajili Akazi, na balozi ito na ito Kimani. Alisema nije niseme pole kwa jamii na marafiki wote wa mama ya Lucy. Ala domine juke jere pole uh, family all the ya Lucy. Uh, from the New York team balozi na team yake yote. Kutoka kwenye balozi wa kule Marekani pamoja na team yake yote. Na nimefurahi kuona Lucy at least made it hapa because she was it hit her very hard. Yaani ilikuwa ngumu sana kwake na I'm happy to see her strong. And I can acquire a Lucigo Cotodo, what you hold it to Mona Korea, America. So I wasn't expecting to speak today, Mimi, like Kanoka Kairigo said, military people don't speak too much in public. Siko Tarajia Sana Kozungum Zamanaka and Ajeshi Sana was the Gums in Bele Umati. But I'll say something that I saw uh, the other day when I was here. I was very happy to see people motivated. Na ningependa kusema kwa jambo ambalo niliona siku ambayo nilikuwa hapa ni furahi sana kuona watu ambao wametiwa nguvu. People were were happy. They were celebrating mom. I know lo losing mom is hard, but celebrating mom is easy. Watu walikuwa wanamsherekea mama. Najua kumpoteza ni ngumu lakini walikuwa wanamsherekea. I'm seated behind there today, and as Kia um, again, the impact Mom had on uh, on everybody who comes here to speak. Na ni meketi kule nyuma na ni meskia uguzo aliokuwa na Mama kwa kila moja ambaye mekuja pa kuzungumza. Na unajua as a military man, I deal we deal with leadership, and the best thing we do in in leadership is setting an example. Na naona Mom set an example to everybody, and now. Mimi hata sikuwa ni interact na mamu, but she's already said, she's already influencing my life. No, ona tutia shamani itia na maito, no, already ni ya hutetia mutu orela wakua, ona kwa tutia tuwa shamani ya. So, thank you so much for coming to celebrate mamu. Ivo shukurani sana kwa ajila kuja kumushereke ya mama. To the family, Lucy and the family. Kwa familia yote, Lucy pamoja na jamii yote. I say, uh, pole sana, but be strong like you have been. I say, pole sana. And God bless you and God bless everybody who's Mungu akubariki sana na kubariki kila mmoja. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, Mr. Gitogo. Asante sana Mr. Gitogo. It was important for us to know that we are getting Paul condolences from the ambassador of Kenya in the US. Ilikuwa maana sana kwetu kusikia kwamba tunapokea pole kutoka kwenye balozi wa Kenya kule Marekani. Amen. Amen. And the people you read it and associate with are key in your life. Watu nao ambatana nao kwenye maisha ni wa maana sana. Read people with people who have focus. Husiana na watu walio na mwelekeo. Read with people who are positive. 
Usiana na watu ambao ni watu wazuri. And it with people of substance. Na usiana na watu ambao wako na hazina ndani ya moyo. Because I believe that is who mom was. Maana ninaamini hivyo ndivyo alivyokuwa mama. Very focused. Mtu aliyekuwa na mwelekeo. Even when life was not like working. Hata wakati ambapo maisha ni kama hayakuwa sawa. She was still focused. Bado alikuwa na mwelekeo. Very hard working. Alikuwa na bidii. Amen. Amina. Somebody who would always encourage you. Mtu ambaye kila mara angekutia moyo. We thank God that we are here to celebrate a heroine in that. Na shukuru Mungu maana tuko hapa kumsherekea shujaa. As our mom was. Kama jinsi alivyokuwa mama wetu. I was expecting a few gospel singers. I don't know whether any of them is here. Nilikuwa natarajia waimbaji wa injili wachache. Sijui kama kuna mmoja ako hapa. I don't know whether Ruth wa Moyo is here yet. Sijui kama Ruth wa Moyo yuko hapa. I don't know whether Mary Gidenji is here yet. Sijui kama Mary Gidenji amefika. I don't know whether Sarah Kay is here yet. Sijui kama Sarah Kay amefika. They are not here yet. Bado hawajafika. Now you are also gospel singers only that you don't have a CD. Sasa hata nyote ni waimbaji wa injili ni vile tu hamna santuru. Who are gospel singers? Kwani waimbaji wa injili ni akina nani? It is us who sing gospel. Si ni kuimba tu injili. Simama na miguu yako. Kindly rogama na magoro maku. Amen. Amina. We are doing well. We have gone very well. If you look at your clock at your watch. Tunaendelea vizuri kabisa ukitazama saa yako. It is 11:20. Sasa ni saa 5:20. And our service is No, our service started at 10. Na ibada yetu ilianza saa 4. And we are getting into the church program at 11:30. Na tunaingia kwenye ratiba ya kanisa saa 5:30. So we are okay. Sasa tuko sawa. We are doing well. Tunafanya vema. Um I ask you to stand. Nimeomba msimame so that we can do two stanzas of a song that I think you know. Ili tufanye tu vifungo viwili vya wimbo ambao nafikiria mnaujua. And by now Magritte ma, 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 and your team should be here. Na kwa sasa waimbaji mnafaa kuwa hapa. Uh, Then after that I'll tell you what we do next. Na baada hapa nitawaambia tutakachofanya baadaye. We want to do this song which was done by Karo. Ningependa tufanye wimbo huu uliofanywa na Karo. Tika wale mwana wako okay do it ra. Vile tu ulikuwa upande wangu kanipigania. One of the stanzas in that song I love. Ubeti mmoja huyo wimbo ambao unapenda. It says something like this. Unasema hivi. Jiarwa shio shio the Uzao wa wote. Those that are present and even those who will come. Walioko na watakao kuwa. As they are in the legacy of mama. Mradi tu wako katika uzao wa mama. Adwashio ni aradhi. Hao watu wamebarikiwa. Amen. Amina. Tiga mwale mwana wako ke duirira. Huo wimbo. Tiga wale mwana wako ke
Amen. Amen. Thank you, worship team. Just Amina, you Santini don't even sana. need to far because I'll be calling you in a moment. Take your seats for a minute. Amen. 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 The, the, the spiritual atmosphere Anga ya it hapa. is the one that you keep saying. Kama yesu sasa. My chances are higher. Zangu ziko juu. Amen. Amina. We thank God we are about to get into the service. Mungu tuko kwenye Allow me to recognize uh, a few people and the rest will be recognized later. Watu wa wale the MP for this area who is also a friend of our church, KJ, is here with us. MP wa area hii yuko hapa sasa, KJ. You know you are so short they can't see you. Ni mfupi okay, fine. They have now seen you. Sasa tumekuona. And I want I, I let me say this. KJ is not here because he's the MP of this area. Na nisema hivi KJ hayuko hapa maana yake yeye ndio MP wa hapa. But he's here because he's a friend of Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Yuko hapa maana ni rafiki wa Kenya uh, Cornerstone Faith Assembly. And we wish you luck on the 9th of but you'll come and talk to us later. Allow me to also recognize our old friend, Pastor Muratia, who is right there. Pia ni saidia kutambua rafiki yetu akitamba mchungaji Murati ambaye yuko hapa. Amen. Amina. Thank you so much Pastor Muratia for coming. Asante mchungaji Murati kwa kuja. I know we have other dignitaries who will be recognized along the way. Ninajua kuna waheshimiwa wengine ambao tutawatambua baadaye. But allow me to do this. Lakini niruhusu nifanye hivi. Um 
um, among the people who attended mom when she was living kati ya watu ambao walishughulikia mama wakati alikuwa hai and treated her in hospital na akamtibu kule hospitali is a good friend of ours ni rafiki yetu mzuri professor simon gudhua ni professor simon gudhua let me ask professor gudhua to come ni muombe tu aje professor gudhua is not only a, a professor Professor Gudua sio tu professor. He's a brother in the Lord. Ni ndugu katika Bwana. And he's also a gospel singer. Na pia ni mwimbaji wa injili nyimbo za injili. And I ask him to do a song either two or three stanzas. Nitamuuliza tu aombe wimbo moja ama aombe wimbo moja ama mbili. And then we get to the other part of the program. Kifungo kimoja ama mbili kisha tuendelee. Which one? Ipi wimbo upi? God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Um I thank God. Namshukuru Mungu that we are celebrating the life of mom. Kwamba tunasherekea maisha ya mama. And uh, from the medical point of view, na katika hali mtazamo wa kimawazo, uh she was strong. Alikuwa mtu hodari. And we doctors very rarely do we get people telling us God bless the work of your hands. Na ni vigumu sana sisi madaktari kusikia watu wakituambia Mungu awabariki kazi ya mikono yenu. And because you always used to tell me that. Na kwa sababu kila mara alikuwa ananiambia hivyo. I'm very happy that that kept me going. Nina furaha kwamba hiyo ilinitia moyo kuzidi. I will not try to talk about mom because many things have been said. Sitai kusema kuhusu mama maana yake mengi yamekwishasemwa. Many attributes. Ni heshima nyingi zimetolewa. I think Kano came very strong on the very many attributes. Na Kano anasema mambo mengi sana kuhusu mambo muhimu ya mama. But one of the things I wanted to emphasize probably. Na jambo moja ambalo ningependa kutilia mkazo is that she knew exactly what she wanted from you. Ni kwamba alijua hasa alichotaka kutoka kwako. When she was brought to the hospital many times. Alipoletwa kwenye hospitali mara nyingi. And many times by Nancy, she is here. Wakati mwingi na Nancy ambaye yuko hapa. Ah, uh, she would tell Nancy no 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 no, you you wait. Angeambia Nancy tafadhali subiri. Let me tell him exactly what I feel. Wacha nimwambie mimi hasa ninachosikia. And you cannot get out out of that. So I would give her time. Na wezi aondoka kwa hiyo hivyo ningempatia muda to tell us about herself. Ili atuambie kumhusu yeye mwenyewe. So that we can help her. Ili tumsaidie. There is something uh, Pastor Kamau said about she has fought a good fight. Kuna jambo lingine ambalo mchungaji Kamau amesema kwamba amefanya vita vizuri. And it is true. Na ni kweli. She has fought a good fight. Amepigana vita vizuri. She has kept the faith. Ameilinda imani. And she has finished the race. Na amemaliza mbio. And I think that's why we are celebrating. Na ndio nafikiria kwamba hiyo ndio sababu ya kusherehekea. There is no doubt in us. Hakuna shaka ndani yetu. That that has happened. Kwamba hiyo imetendeka. There is one bishop who told me. Kuna askofu mmoja aliyeniambia. And uh, it is better in Kikuyu kwamba inasemeka vizuri kwa kikuyu that when we come to such occasions like this kwamba tukija kwenye sherehe kama hii we must be honest with what we say about somebody lazima tuwe wa kweli kwa mambo tunayosema kuhusu mambo fulani and what we have said tonight i mean this morning kila ambacho tumesema asubuhi ya leo is true ni ukweli and the bishop said in kikuyu kwamba we are scoff alisema kwa kikuyu limwe admo kaga wakati mwingine watu wanakuja ma they are alcoholics wakiwa kuna ulevi ni mananyi waga dhigara walikuwa wanavuta sigara ni maleka ama odumagi walikuwa wanafanya mambo mengine then to come and say kisha unakuja unasema ni aradhuburi to mwononi mwiri alikuwa amesumbuliwa sana na mwili akijira you should be saying akaniambia tunafaa kuwa tunasema ni aradhuburi to mwiri mwono alikuwa amesumbua mwili sana without hiding ni aradhuburi to mwiri ni adhumburi ete mwili mno huyo alisumbua mwili sana na nikiwa letirwa na ihenya ndio maana alipumzika haraka so i thank god that mom nashukuru mungu kwa sababu different ako tofauti she kept the faith to the Ali, last minute alilinda imani hadi tamati having 83 years in medicine is a very big blessing kuwa na miaka 83 na tatu katika hali ya udaktari ni kitu ni baraka kubwa because of what we do in Kenya kwa sababu ya vile mambo tunayofanya hapa Kenya our life expectancy is only 50 years uhai wetu tu ni, ni hapo katikati ya miaka 50 if you look at the statistics generally U, ukiangalia hesabu so it a three kwa hivyo 83 is something to thank god for ni jambo la kumshukuru mungu 
And so for me, kwa hivyo kwangu mimi, at this time, wakati huu, I just want to thank God. Ningependa tu kushukuru Mungu. That he has kept mom for 83 years. Kwamba amemlinda mama kwa miaka 83. So I want to tell God thank you. Hivyo nataka kumwambia Mungu asante. And the song I am going to sing, wimbo ambao anaenda kuimba, is great is thy faithfulness. Ni kwamba uaminifu wako ni mkuu. That is it. Hivyo tu according to lamentation chapter 3 kulingana na maombolezo sura ya 3 verse 19 to 24 sura ya 19 hadi 24 it says i remember my afflictions inasema ninakumbuka mateso yangu and my wandering na hali ya wasiwasi wangu the bitterness and the girl machungu na dhiki then i am encouraged to know kisha ninatiwa nguvu kwa kujua because of god's great love kwa ajili ya upendo wa mungu ulio mkuu we are not consumed sisi hatuangamii for his compassions never fail maana rema zake hazishindwi oh they are new every day kweli ni mpya kila asubuhi great kweli uaminifu great wake. is thy faithfulness ukuaminifu wako ni mkuu i said to myself nikajiambia the lord is my portion bwana ni sehemu yangu therefore kisha i wait for him nitamsubiri amen amina we shall wait tutamgojea for him yeah yeah great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning the tender <coughs> <and> the <coughs> so 
God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. God bless you. I told you, you people are gospel singers. Sorry, Mrs. Goduar is right where pa a professor has gone. Please stand and wave. That is Mrs. Goduar. Thank you. Worship team, worship team, you should be here. We now get to the church service. We now get into the church service. Pastor Mary Karanja, please come so that you can do the opening scripture. No, actually not, not the opening, the continuing scripture. Amen. Amen. And let me request that we all stand. And Pastor Dongo from uh, Mwea. Please come. Pass this other side. This other side. Yeah, pass this other side. As soon as uh, Pastor Mary is done with, uh, with the scripture, Reverend Dongo will pray for us. The worship team will take and read us in two songs. Then I'll tell you what we'll do after that. Praise the Lord, church. The reading is from the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3. From verse 1 to 4. We will read. To everything there is a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. No wakati wa kucheza Tuombe Tuhoe Baba wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Awadha ni wale wa Yesu Kristo Asante kwa kutupata kutupatia nafasi hii Ni thank you nitodwa auto hekanya gaka Asante kwa ubari ambao tumeenda Thank you nitodwa auto kinyete Tangu bwana asubuhi Kumoro shine Tunakushukuru kwa fadhili zako Tawashokeria gado na idhashi yako Asante bwana Yesu Niwega mwana ni Yesu Kwa program zote ambazo ziko mbele yetu Nitodwa maudo mara moja mebere ito Toomba neema yako ikazidi kushuka Tohoya wega wa kudhi na bere kudhamaka Nene katika jina Safi la Kristo Nithini waritu wa la Yesu Kristo Tunaoma na kuamini Tohoe na tuetekia Amen Amen Aleluya Nimefika saa ya kuimba kegosho Kama haujaruka hii ni wakati wakuruka Kwa imu kama hiyo kiatu do itazuia Yo hapa mtu wa kwa laud kutuwa kiatu This is the house of our father So my dear queens I want you to use this space we want to give the Lord a praise. Najwa kumeoshwa, but apa patoke vumbi. Ile vumbi ni baki kidogo. Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Gai wenye otororaga ga Naridore yo ironeda Mewe atoki na gere yo tukiwa Otukorele atwe toro Hey, no! 
Tuketi chini Thank you thank you queens we are on spot Asante sana Malkia Amen Ambia yaliye kaka kando yako huku nikuega Ero shogemo liganetie huku nikuzuri sana Huku nikuega 
Hapane kuzuri kweli. Amen. Amina. You know I read a scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number 6. Eh? Nisoma andiko kwenye kitabu cha muhubiri sura ya 6. Verse number 3. Mstari wa 3. I wish I had my Kikuyu Bible I would have read it in Kikuyu. Afadhali ningekuwa na Biblia yangu ya Kikuyu. But this is what it says. Inasema hivi. If you own everything, kama ukipata kila kitu, you have children una watoto and you die. Kisha ufu. And you are not buried properly. Na hau usizikwe vizuri. You are worse off than a steel born. Wewe ni afadhali tu ama si afadhali kuliko aliyezaliwa kabla ya wakati. Kikuyu kiwete ukikona hizo siothe no kuwe na tudhikuo wega. Ya kikuyu inasema kama unaweza kufa na usizikwe vizuri. Wewe kiliitwa ni kihuno. Wewe yule ambaye alikufa kabla ya wakati ama kabla ya hajazaliwa. Ni wega ni it's a portion for a Christian. Kuzikwa vizuri ni sehemu ya Mkristo. Timadiko makuma kone hedi ya domararo era. Si kwa makunya mazishi yako watu wapiga. Kani hedi marata ni ya madhire. Ama ndio wanaitishana madeni. Acha ni ulikuwa wega ndo mai ne wega makenere ngai. Uthie wega ngai agoswo. Kuzikwa vizuri watu waimbe vizuri wa msifu Mungu. Holira Jesu rohe. Piga Yesu makofi. Tireda kuita ari amego tuthomera tribute. Ningependa kwa ita wale ambao watatusomea heshima Amen. zao Deda kwa tarehe ya kutozomera tribute. Wale ambao wanaenda kusoma heshima ambazo zimeandikwa. David will do the English version of the tribute. I'm De- sorry. David atasoma. My 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 apologies. Samahani tafadhali. Kingereza wakati mwingine kinaleta kizungumkuti. Ukakorwa uroiga introduction yuko ugali production. Lipo kwa mwingine ni kuzungumza kwa kuzungumza 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 Kose unasema kuzalisha. Jeremy ni uro je. Ninamaanisha historia. Kuko ubyo kuthie tatigana na kugo. Mali uliko maenda tafadhali wachana huko. Eulogy. Ile historia. And David will do the English version of the eulogy. Uh, David atasoma historia kwa Kiingereza. Followed Kali by Gadoni who will do the Gikuyu version. Akifuatiliwa kwa karibu na Gadoni ambaye atasoma kwa Kikuyu. So David, tafadhali David. Please come. Tafadhali njoo. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, it's okay. Uh, David is sorting out something. Uh, David anashughulikia jambo fulani. If Gadoni is ready, I will call, I will call Gadoni first. Gadoni tafadhali kama uko nitakuita kwanza. Gadoni uko udhome eh ya kikuyu. Gadoni njoo usome ya kikuyu. Thank you. Asante. Rogano rwa viji ni awajiro kama u mutorire wa mwali wa ithe witu uciaro viji ni awajiro kama u aciarirwo mwaka wa 1939 itora inere ya dubeli ari mwana wa keri wa atigaire gladis wa boy na francis mugara mikamoni maciara ni rwo na wile kamoni mutigaire mutora mugarami mutigaire samson kairo Mary Jerry wa gashie mutigaire Francis Mutura Joseph Mungai wa Ruai mutigaire wa Ithera Mugarami na Scholastica wa Gare kerore wa Goba Estate Nairobi Gedomo Virginia wa Jiroka Mau ni abereirie gedomo yake shukuru ine wa Duberi Primary na kihetoka igeranio ciake na kiingira shukuru wa airetu wa Merelike Hai ni undu wa marihi ma shukuru kwaga dahotire kurikia mathomo make ma secondary Noithe akimutwara kothi ya gutuma nguo kugimara na kuhika Virginia wa Jiro nendanire na mwedwa wake uri acokire kuhikira mwakaine wa 1963 ni mara thimiro na ciana ithano nicio Bishop Francis Mugarami Kamau wa Cornerstone Faith Assembly Nairobi David Kirato Kamau wa London UK Nancy Waithira Mashua wa Ashians Gladys Waboy Guru wa KEG headquarters na Lucy Gathon Muikaba wa New York USA Mwakaine wa 20 Mwakaine wa 2000 na 2013 Muthuri mwendwa wake ni ahurukirio ni mwathani thutha wao gukorwa na kihiko kirathime kia makiria ma miaka 50 Ni ari na muirue mutigaire na umijoki Wera Virginia ni aheirwo machine ya gutuma nguo puff sewing machine ni ithe thutha wa kurikia course yake ya gutuma ni abereirie duka ya gutuma nguo mwena wa River Rolly gashie mwaka wa 1968 Virginia na family yake ni athameire Elbagon Rift Valley 
kuria thire na mbere na wira ucio wa gutuma nguo thutha ucio ningi agithamira itura ria thigio ndeya kuria athire na ona mbere na wira ucio niambiririe urimi ku itura ini ria thigio na karai mwaka ini wa 1993 virginia niathamire fa niathamirie family yake migumo ini karai kuria athire na mbere na urimi na agicoka ningi guthamira zabezi mwaka wa 2003 na ithatu mwaka wa 2017 na na mugwanja virginia ni athamire gikabura kuria araturite nginya riria ngai aramuhurukirie ukristiano wake virginia wanjiru kama un ni atwarirwa kanithaine ni nyina mumuciari ari mwana munini no ni undu wa guikara muikarire wa guthama thama mwaka ini wa 1990 mugwanja niguo abiririe guthoma kanithaine wa thigio pcea na ciana ciake mwaka wa 1978 neingirire kanithaini wa Kenya Assemblies of God rungu rwa muthuri wa kanitha Ibrahim Buru ni afatithirio na agitikira mwathani ta muhonoke wa ngoro yake ni Bishop Robert Jaba Virginia arari mutongoria wa kiungano kia mwaki wa WWK ya kanitha wa thigio KAG kuma mwaka wa 1989 ni undu wa kiheo gya ke gya utongoria ni atwikire mutongoria wa tumia wa mbere wa mbere KG Remuru na Deya Parish Women's Ministry WWK kiugano gya makanitha kenda ni undu wa kwenda ngai na kanitha ona thamira migumoini karai ni athiyaga maguru kilomita kenda ginya kanitha ino wathigio KG na ni athire na mbere na kuhariria magongona megi kanitha na guteithia ginya athini na aria Adveni na ria koro atego shagurania mwaka ino wa 2023 Virginia hamwe na mutigaire muthuru wake ni maiga ni maiga nilire kanithaini wa kona stone faith assembly okay sorry mwaka ino wa 2023 Virginia hamwe na mutigaire muthuru wake ni maingirire kanithaini wa kona stone faith assembly kuria atungataga ta mutarani na guthaithanirira kanitha wa ngai kinya kuhuruka gwake Aria mege ikaro giki no marute uira ucio wa utungata wake wendi wa ngoro yake Virginia wanjiru arari murathime na gutuma nguo na urimi ni arendete muno gutungatira ngai na ni aratigagirira ciana ciake ni ciathie kanitha arari mutugi nginya na indo ciake ni arageragia muno gutigirira kwina atongoria eru marakura utungatine makiria ma uguo niwe wagurire ite shia bere kanithaini wa kona stone faith assembly dagoriti kona ararongereirie muno mihothine yake ya icu jigurani kuhuruka gwake virginia wanjiru kama u ahurukire muthenya wa juma 5 mweri nya mweri wa kana mwaka wa 2022 na igire ta thaa inya cia rucine ta thaa inyo cio tuko mushine gwake gikabura na ukuru wa miaka 83 ni atiga ciana ciake Bishop Francis Mugarami Kamau, David Kirato, Nancy Waithera, Gladys Wamboi na Lucy Gadoni. Toshosho na togu ka 23 na tutato na toshokoro 34. Mirongo itatu na tonda. Virginia wanjiru Kamau, Gai Arakwe Lire, ni urutete ni uruete bara iri ajega na leo ihenya ria kwari gakinya muthia. Ona Nyo tolete umenyereire wetikyo wakwa leu keigire kihuruko ini kitathiraga amen um. Um. All right David This is the legacy of a high impact life of Virginia Wanjiro Kamau. Um, birth. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau was born in 1939 in Duberry. She was the second born of the late Gladys Wabui 
and the late Francis Mugarami Kamoni. She was a sister to Willy Kamoni, the late Mutura Mugarami, the late Simon, Samson Cairo, Mary Jerry of Washie, the late Francis Mutura, Joseph Mungai of Rwai, the late Waidira Mugarami and Scholastica Wagare Kirore of Goba Estate, Nairobi. Education. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau started her education at Duberry Primary School, and upon successful completion of her primary school education, she joined Mirilik High School. Her education was cut short early in life because of lack of school fees. Her father later sponsored Virginia for a tailoring and design course. Adulthood and marriage life. Virginia Wanjiro met the love of her life, whom she later married in the early 60s. They were blessed with five children, Bishop Francis Mogarami Kamang of Cornerstone Faith Assembly, where we are now, um, uh, David Kirato Kamau of London, I'm the one, uh, London, UK, Nancy Waidira Mashua of Asians, Grandis Waboi Guru, uh, Kenya Assemblies of God Headquarters, and Lucy Gadoni Muikamba of New York, USA. In 2016, Virginia's sweetheart was ushered to glory. After more than half a century of a vibrant marriage, she was the co-wife of the late Naomi Jockey. Work. Virginia was given a puff sewing machine by her dad as a gift upon successfully completing her tailoring and design course. She became a successful businesswoman, starting her first tailoring shop in River Road, Gashier. In 1968, Together with her family, Virginia relocated to El Bagon, Lift Valley, where she continued with her business there. Later, Virginia moved to the Gil, Deya, where she continued with her tailoring and retail shop business to improve the family income um, uh, side hustle. Uh, she became a subsistence farmer in the Gil and Karai. In 1996, 1996 Virginia and her family relocated to Migumoile Karae, where she continued farming before moving to Zambezi in the year 2003. In the year 2017, Virginia settled in Nigekambura until when the Lord called her to glory. A spiritual life. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau was introduced to the Christian faith by her mom at a very tender age. But because of her sojourn in different places, it was not until the early 70s that Virginia began attending the UPCA church together with her children. In 1978, in 1978 uh, she joined uh, Kenya Assemblies of God under the leadership of the late Elder Ibrahim Boro. She was baptized as a born again believer by the late Bishop Robert T. Jabba. Virginia served as a local church women, women, women's leader. WWK starts for Wanawake Wa Christo. At the Gio Kenya Assemblies of God Church in 1989. In the same year, due to her divine uh, giftedness and diligence, Virginia became the first women's leader of KAG, Lemuru and Deya Parish, women's ministry of WWK, uh, comprising of nine churches until 1997. Her love for Christ and his church was clearly shown by the sacrifices she made, especially when she relocated to Megumoine Karai. Every Sunday, or as Jute called, that one I'm going to add something, it was every Sunday and every Wednesday. Because uh, WWK, they used to have their meeting on Wednesdays. So my mom used to, to trek twice a week. Church, where she provided leadership to the local church, WWK, Women's Ministry. Virginia also continued with hospitality and mercy ministry, where she hosted events in her home and also took care of the elderly and the needy. In 2003, Virginia and her late husband joined Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church, where she has served as an advisor, counselor, and intercessor until she listed. 
and many who are here in attendance today attest to this and other aspects of her ministry. Passion. Virginia Wanjiro was a gifted dressmaker, fashion designer, and a trainer. In addition to being a very blessed farmer, Virginia Wanjiro Kamau loved serving the Lord with all her heart and resources. She ensured her children always went to church with her, which eventually led to the salvation of her late husband and all her children. She was also passionate in raising leaders and providing arms to the elderly and the needy. Virginia Wanjiro bought the first four benches for Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church, Dagulet Corner, now where we are sitting today. She also she was she was she was also very diligent in giving, tithing, and providing for the poor. Final other journey. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau made her exit into glory on Wednesday, April the 6th, 2022, around 10:20 p.m in her home compound in Gekambura at a ripe age of 83 years old. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau leaves behind her children, Bishop Francis Moarami Kamau, David Kirato, Nancy Waidra, Gladys Waboy, and Lucy Radhoni. She also leaves behind 23 grandchildren and 34 great grandchildren. Virginia Wanjiro Kamau, Jesus told you, you have fought a good fight. You have kept the faith and have finished the lease now enter into eternal glory thank you david thank you let's give david another hard clap tumpigie david makofi mengine mazuri the next item trip the family jambo lingine ni heshima ambazo zimeandikwa kutoka kwa jamii the last paragraph of that uh, eulogy ubeti wa mwisho wa historia hiyo has a very encouraging line uko na mstari ambao unatia moyo sana uh, virginia wajikro kamau made her exit into glory kwamba virginia wanjiro kamau aliingia kwenye utukufu made her exit into kwamba aliingia ndani yani unatoka hapa unaingia ukauma huko ukaingira haha how the hega hapo ni pazuri uh, the tributes are going to come in this order and please uh, uh, yeah. Let's organize ourselves so that we do this quickly. The first one will be from Nancy Waithera. Tribute is tafuatana kama ifuatavyo. Kwanza itakuwa kutoka kwa Nancy Waithera. Followed by Gladys Waboy. Akifuatiliwa na Gladys Waboy. Lucy Gadoni. Lucy Gadoni. Uh, in that order. Katika mtiririko huo. Now, yeah, Nancy Waithera, Gladys Waboy. Nancy Waithera, Gladys Waboy. And Lucy Gadoni. Na Lucy Gadoni. Then I'll tell you the next group after that. Kisha nitakwambia kikundi hicho kingine baada hiyo. Um yeah the God I would do my tribute, you know? Kusoma he tribute. No ni good or mero. Lakini nitasomeo. No itana do my dad ku gatirire. Na kabla ni some nataka kusema hivi. Kabla mama kupumzika tulikuwa na yeye. Na kama vile ambavyo unasikia mtu mwambiwa aende lete maji. Ukirudi unapata ameenda. Hakunitisha maji. Hivyo kila kilichotendeka niliona. Na gera gai ni wega toni ya hile that chance Na shukuru mungu kwa sababu hali nipatia frusa hiyo To see my mom Kumona mama yangu As she breathed her last Wakati halipumua ya mwisho Reu negulia Florence ya domele tribute ino Tamuliza Florence ya nisome tribute hii Mom I am who I am today because of what you instilled in me Hard work you taught me. You would make clothes until late night. Your eyes would see as no, no matter where you were. Thus, we, could, we couldn't be mischievous. You loved us and brought us Christmas clothes every year. You taught us how to cook, to be hospita hospitable, and how to clean. Mom, you taught me how to raise my children and how and insisted if 
if baby if if the baby is not sick they should stay in bed mom you are perfectionist most most of all you brought us in in the ways of the lord you you would tell us to be god's friend to trust in god you are more than a mother to me you are my friend when dad passed i moved to your bedroom during that period and you and we encouraged one another now that you now that you are gone who will encourage me i used to confide in you we had our good and bad times together three days before you left you called me you called me kerato wa kamau kamau wa kerato oka wa emo tumia waku oh mama how i wish you were telling me something i used to go with you everywhere even last i journey i journey on this earth i was i was with you i saw you leave i saw you leave but there was nothing i could do but but give out a scream mom i feel empty and confused knowing that your desire of being with Christ has been met it makes me also to to shoulder on no more pain no more hunger no more troubles for for you mom i love you and i will surely miss you till we meet again rest in peace mom thank you uh, gladys asante sana gladys Gladys is Pastor Emos's wife. Gladys ni mchungaji Emos. Pastor will be there to start by her. Mchungaji atasimama karibu na yeye. Bona asiwe. I'd like to read, to bring to you Proverbs that one mother. Ningependa kuwaletea mama wa midhali 31. Uh, Proverbs chapter 31 verse 1. I will use uh, not wife but today I'm going to use the name mom. A mom of noble character who can fight. I found a mom of a noble character in my life. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good not harm all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and she work and works with eager hearts. She is like the merchant ship bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still night and that is how our mother was. She provided food for her family and portions for her female servants. This is exactly what our mother used to do. We never lacked food. She gets up her uh, she considers a field and buy it out of her earning she plants a vineyard and in neology you've have heard that she was uh, she was a farmer she set about her work vigorously her arms are strong for her tasks she's she's that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out of out at night in her heart she holds the distaff and grabs the spindle with her fingers she opens her arms to the poor we've heard in the eology that she was opening her arms to the poor and the needy when he it is knows she was no far she has no fear her, for her household Oh for all of them 
are clothed in scarlet. She makes covering for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. That is exactly how her bed was. And most of the queens had gone to see her at her bedside. And that is exactly what her bed was. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the Rad. She makes linen garments and sells them. She was a tailor, and that is what she was doing. Can't we say she was a proverb that one woman? And surprised the merchants with sashes. She's clothed with strength and dignity. She can love at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instructions is on her tongue. That is exactly how our mother was. She instructed us. She had wisdom. And that's how we are, that's why we are today, because of her wisdom. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. She was waking up while it was, uh, while it was night that she can be able to, uh, to bring bread for her family. Her children arise and call her blessed. That is what we are doing today as her children. We are calling her blessed. Praise God. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but she surpasses all of them. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is threatening. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. My mom feared God, and that's why we are praising, him to, praising her today. Honor her for all that her hearts have done, and let, all, let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Lucy Gadoni. Lucy, Lucy, we're waiting for you. Lucy. And after Lucy, there is Ruth, Waboy, and Jackie, Kirato. Portrait of my mother. Whatever she is wearing, I bought for her that dress from New York. New York. The hat she is wearing, I bought it in New York. New York. When I was coming a few days ago, I I passed by some shops. The first time. Wakwanza, for over a decade baada ya miaka kumi, I could not buy anything singerunua chochote my suitcases used to be full of my mother's clothes na sanduku yangu ya nguo ilikuwa imejaa nguo za mamangu and not just clothes na sio tu mavazi tu i was getting the best nilikuwa nanunua zile zilizo nzuri kabisa i wish i could tell you how much i bought this dress afadhali nikwambia nilinunua pesa ngapi i'm so grateful to god that i was able to do that for my mother nashukuru kwa mungu sana kwa ajili niliweza kufanyia babangu hivyo she never told me to buy for her any dress but I did it. And shortly I will let you know the reason why I did that. Even without her telling me to do that. I don't have a tribute. Because all what I want to say about my mother is in my head. I have about 10. Are they 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I just have 10 things I have to say about my mother. The first one is brave. Brave. My mother gave birth to me. Um, she didn't go to the hospital. She did it by herself. 
and after three days I hear that she got sick. Na baada ya siku tatu mimi usikia kwamba aligonjeka. I never breastfed. Mimi sikunyonya. She went to the hospital. I was left with my grandmother. She stayed for the hospital I think over a month. Alienda hospitalini na nikakaa na nyanyangu kwa maana alikuwa hospitalini zaidi ya mwezi mmoja. I am a mother. Mimi ni mama. And the last thing I would do. Na jambo la mwisho naweza fanya. Is to even think that I can even try to help myself give birth. Ni kufikiria tu kwamba naweza nikajizalisha mwenyewe. Isn't that woman a brave woman? Na je, si huyu mama ni mama mkakamavu kweli? Prayerful. Alikuwa mtu wa kuomba. I grew up. My mother was calling us in the morning. Mama yetu alikuwa na Twitter kila asubuhi. We could never take tea without fast praying. Hatunge kunywa chai kabla ya kuomba. And we could never go to bed without praying. Hatunge lala kabla tujaomba. So, and she always even up to the last day I spoke to her. Na hata siku ya mwisho nilipoongea na yeye. She talked about praying. Alizungumzia kuhusu kuomba. She told me only players will take you to where you ever want to be in life. Aliniambia ni maombi pekee itakupeleka mahali ambapo unatamani kuwa katika maisha. And I miss her so much for that because I could, you know, even if I called her, na she would sa- always tell me let us pray. Maana hata ningempigia simu kila mara angeniambia na tuombe. Wisdom. Hiyo ni hekima. If there is someone I know in this world, kama kuna mtu anayemjua katika ulimwengu huu, who was wise was my mother. Ambaye alikuwa mtu mwenye hekima ni alikuwa mama yangu. I remember I could go outside look at the clouds. Nakumbuka ningeondoka nje nitazame mawingu. And then I asked my mother. Kisha niuliza mama yangu. Is it going to rain? Je, kutanyesha? My mother would tell me, yeah, it's going to rain. Mama yangu angeniambia ndio kutanyesha. And then she could tell me about the rainbow. Kisha angeniambia kuhusu Mkunga. And that about the rainbow she could tell me where that rainbow story came from. Na angenielezea hadithi za mkunga huo. And I'm sure if I'm not wrong it was about when God uh, brought a lot of rain and it destroyed a lot of things in the world Na that kan- he had to bring the rainbow in ak- promise that every time he tries to bring the rain again when he looks at the rainbow then he remembers the promise he made alileta mungu alileta upinde huo kwa ajili ya kumbukumbu ya vile ambavyo alinyesha mvua katika ulimwengu na kila mara anapotaka kuachilia mvua anakumbuka ishara hiyo who feels that every time even getting a tummy ache i could go to my mother telling her i have a tummy ache so there is no way she could tell me she has no you know she has no nothing to tell me about the tummy she always had an answer Kila of mara, what to do alikuwa na jibu la kunijibu so i look up to her that her being a second god kila mara ninamtazamia kama kuwa mungu wa pili okay just a minute okay love upendo now my mother mamangu unaona maziwa Okay we used to have milk then we could boil the milk Tulikuwa na maziwa na tungechemsha maziwa And then the milk forms cream Kisha maziwa yanakuwa half na cream the, Half of the sufuria is cream Labda nusu ya sufuria ni cream That cream my mother could just come with a spoon Mamangu angekuja na kijiko Get it and put it in a cup and then it would go all the way to 3 quarter of the cup Atoe ile cream yake kwa kikombe kisha ifike karibu so, okay. quarter tatu ya kikombe So the milk which remains in the sufuria ile maziwa ambayo itabaki kwenye sufuria ni maji maji it's just water so my mother the one which is on the cup ile ambayo iko kwenye kikombe she would just add a little a little water and a, then some tea bags ah not really tea bags some tea angeongeza uh, maji kidogo kisha ongeze majani so my mother loved herself kwa hivyo mamangu alijipenda sana <laughs> so There was no way she could be able to love us or ha- love anybody else without first loving herself. Hange jip, hange tupenda, ama kupenda mwingine kabla ajipende. So and uh, myself I hated that cream Mwenye but for her she loved it so much. And there are other so many things she used to do. Which she really loved herself. Alijipenda kwa nini? Everybody who is here knows that my mother loved herself. Kila aliyeko hapa anajua mamangu alijipenda. Confident. My mother was a confident woman. Mamangu alikuwa mama mjasiri. I know I've taken after her. Ninajua sasa mimi nimemuiga. 
I've never stood before so many people like this. Sijawahi simama mbele umati mkubwa hivi. But I am confident and that one I've got from my mother. Na lakini mimi nimejasiri na nimeichukua kutoka kwa mamaangu. Trust my mother made sure that I know who to trust in. Na mamaangu alihakikisha kwamba nimejua kumwamini katika maisha. He told me the only you can trust is God. Alinifunza kwamba wa kuamini pekee ni Mungu. Independent na pia alikuwa huru. I'm the last born of my mother. Mimi ndio mzaliwa mwisho wa mamangu. And I don't think I felt the way the last balls are usually baby sat. Na sidhani kama nilihisi kama kitinda mimba. When you are on the wrong, wakati nimekosa, her nails I think she used to you know work on them at night before she runs on you during the day. Kucha zake nadhania alikuwa nazinoa usiku kabla ya asubuhi. So that one made me become very independent. Hiyo ilinifanya kuwa mtu huru and she kept on telling me you must start by yourself. Na kila mara aliniyafundisha lazima ujifundishe kungangana peke yako. And I have stood by myself and by the time she was going I was proud because she made me be independent. Nimesimama peke yangu lakini wakati alikuwa anaenda nilifurahi sana maana yake alinifundisha kuwa hivyo. No nonsense. Hakuwa napenda upumbavu. Yes, my mother that was her. E, e, halikuwa hivyo. So there was no way even I remember how I used to hide I go to play she is doing her you know dress making work but she would still have another eye from somewhere nilikuwa ninajificha naenda kucheza yeye anashona nguo lakini kuna jicho moja alikuwa ananiangalia nayo tu akiniangalia sit down and tell me you know you cannot just play around with me angeniketisha chini na kuniambia tu hauwezi cheza tu na mimi discipline ananipatia nidhamu when i talk about discipline ninapozungumzia nidhamu my mother taught me to be a discipline a lady and those pinches she really pinched me a lot mama yangu alinifundisha kuwa binti mwenye nidhamu na kunichuna huko alinituna zaidi so with the discipline what i did kwa kwa sababu kwa hiyo nidhamu nilichofanya i have two children nina watoto wawili i decided you know what niliamua i must pass this legacy of my mother's discipline my children lazima nipitishe alama hii so my children kwa hivyo watoto wangu they already know the discipline i have disciplined them wanajua nidhamu ambayo nimewapatia it comes from their grandma imetoka kwenye nyanya wao i have to discipline them lazima niwaweke nidhamu i told my mom how i discipline these children i the same way jinsi ninavyo jinsi ninavyo waweka nidhamu watoto hawa kuwa chuna tu so that discipline I'm disciplining my children I'm telling them in a few years to come you will be remembering me because of what I did. Nidhamu ambayo ninawekea watoto wangu ninawaambia miaka michache ijayo mtanikumbuka kwa sababu ninachofanya. The same way I'm remembering my mother. Jinsi ninavyomkumbuka mama yangu. That is something which will go generations and generations and Ilo ni jambo. Okay. Hilo ni jambo ambalo litana kisasi na kisasi na Well, I am so sad about parting ways with my mother. Nina uzuni sana kwa ajili ya kuachana na mama yangu. But one thing I know. Lakini jambo moja najua.
you have done you will pay before you leave this world utalipa kila ambacho umefanya kabla hujaondoke what we have done for my mother kila ambacho tumefanyia mama yangu she paid alilipa what she planted before Al- she left this world alichopanda kabla hutoke kwa ulimwengu now the last last thing sasa ya mwisho kabisa yeah please make it last you can see i'm standing <laughs> yeah i'm talking the last one ya mwisho kabisa When I was coming from New York my mother had been there some oil I used to buy for her Mama yangu nilipokuwa natoka kule New York mama yangu kuna mafuta nilikuwa namletea That oil is not found in Kenya anywhere Mafuta hayo hayapatikani Kenya mahali popote So she kept on asking me did you get the oil did you get the oil I told her not yet Kila mara alikuwa anauliza umepata mafuta na mamia bado And me I was so busy looking for someone to give the oil so I could not order it so that you know So nilikuwa na, na, natafuta mtu akupatia mafuta yale. When I got someone to send I ordered it immediately and the oil the day my mother passed. Ile siku mama alipofariki. I found that door on uh, that oil on my door. Nilipata mafuta yale kwenye mlango wangu. So I was so happy that I had already ordered it even if it never reached to Nairobi. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeagiza hata kama ikufika Nairobi. But I had ordered it. Kilikuwa nimeshaagiza. So what else can I say? Hivyo niseme nini? Mama lala salama. Mam Madayo and then that her mother became sick na kaenda hosi kisha mama yake akagonjeka akaenda hospitali me i was not told i was there mimi sikuambiwa nilikuwa hapo Bishop Kamau's wife Ruth Wamboi ni mke wa Scoff Kamau and she's the one who is giving her tribute ni ende anatoa sifu yake Jackie be ready you be the next one Jackie utafuata Tribute to Mam Virginia Wanjiro Kamau by Ruth Wamboi Mugarami My story with you Mam Virginia Wanjiro Kamau is different 16 years ago God performed the greatest miracle in my life by giving you to me as my mother through you god blessed me with a very loving and caring husband francis mugarami kamau i can't ask for more having lost my parents at a tender age of 14 years mom you came in and filled the gap you overwhelmed me with love that i had longed to experience indeed you quenched my thirst of many years My husband's love for God, his family and his diligence are a living testament of the seeds that you sowed. Every Sunday afternoon, after a long day of church ministry, we longed to come home in Gikambura and rest under your canopy of love. Thank you so much for giving our son Simon your beautiful teeth and to our daughter Stephanie you equipped with long fingers to play the piano in this generation where we have a shortage of strong powerful loving and wise women serving as guides in our culture and society you stood out you walked in the footprints of the four matriarchs matriarchs of the bible sarah rebecca leah and rachel You will all agree with me that we need matriarchs indeed we want them through divine revelation i knew that you were a matriarch a great woman of god with the ability to bless matriarchy is earned mom you definitely earned it through your service and diligence in the house of god and in your family 
You were that umbrella that you all enjoyed being under. You loved us quietly and unconditionally. You did not compete for attention. You did not need anything in return for your matriarchy. You watched, observed, and through your wisdom, you let me know that you believed in me. You were patient and very intentional in building relationships. And this made me very safe to engage with you and to seek for your support. Some of the things that you made, made you an impactful matriarch are as follows. You were a good listener. You asked few questions, not too many. You did not give advice unless asked for it. You know, there are people who will overwhelm you with advice and you haven't asked for it. Mom was that person that you could pour out your heart to and when you are ready for a piece of advice and wisdom, she was more than willing to give it. You did not do the work. You did not solve the problem for us. Instead, you let us know that we are capable and that we are the best decision makers in the world. You let us know that we are important to you without being overwhelming. You showed up enameled with excellence like the queen you are to our very important events like graduations, birthdays, and weddings, fully enjoying yourself without drama or gossip. By respecting my choices, you ensured my security in confiding with you, knowing very well that you would keep it to yourself. Mom, you are a dime. Your worth is far much more than rubies. Your body language spoke volumes even in tough situations. Oh, I remember how composed she was even in very tough times. A clear indication that all was going to be okay. Madam Virginia, your virtue of patience, contentment, and being focused is a force to reckon with. These I will definitely carry with me. Your presence meant the world for us. You ensured we were comfortable around you. Mama, I recall you, nostalgia, the days we sang, danced and exercised around you, just to see you burst into a hearty laughter. Oh, how we miss your laughter. But most important of all, you loved us mm -hmm. to the moon and back. Wasebe, as I used to call you, rest in eternal peace, Mama. Your legacy is in good hands. Amen, amen, amen. Let us be safe. Amen. Okay, that's it. Jackie. And David is right after you, so David wants Jackie. David, uh, Jackie, to Maliza. Do your tribute as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So, my journey with mom began 23 years ago when I met my husband. Um, when I first met him, I couldn't help but notice he was different. His work ethics and respect for women stood out for me. Also, as I got to know him, I realized the powerhouse behind him, his dear mother. My husband, David Kamau, has never hidden the fact that he is the man he is today because of the values that his mother instilled in him. When I later met my mother-in-law, I had the privilege and the honor of hosting her. Now in London, her and dad, they came and they stayed with us. And um, the first thing I noticed about mom is that she was very quiet. And as a mother, as a daughter, you're keen to please your mom. You want, you want that love from your mom. 
um, as any daughter can attest to. But she made me know that I was doing well. She had this quiet confidence around her. And she said to me, I'm not here to tell you how to run your home. I'm here to support you. And I can see you're doing a good job. And for that, I will always be grateful. The reason why she was quiet, I later understood, is that she was taking in every detail. We soon became fast friends, and I was her daughter. And I understood that I had gained What stood up for me in my mouth was that she was about to leave. In my opinion, there is nothing more powerful than a praying mother. As I have journeyed through life, I have felt her prayers lift me in more times than I can count. My mother held her family close, and each of them here today are a testament of the woman that she was. Often she would gather us as her children, and you would see her sitting there in pure joy and bliss just to be surrounded by her family. There was no doubt in our minds that she loved us and she wanted us around her. My mom was very wise. She I watched her date life with such grace. She was peaceful and fostered peace at all times. We as a children have a responsibility to carry her memory with the grace that she carried. Today I am heartbroken for the entire Kamau family because we have, we have lost a pillar. In February this year, mom fell ill. She collapsed and lost a lot of her mobility. Mom fought back and got back to her feet. I admired how she faced the challenges of life with stillness and confidence. This was grounded in her faith in God. To my brothers and sisters, we must remember all that mom taught us. We must continue in the light that she set out for us. Mom, today I celebrate you. You have fought a good fight. You have run a good race. You remain faithful, and I believe you're in a better place. Your legacy will continue to live in all of us. Rest in peace. I promise to the best of my ability to live in your light. I don't wish to repeat everything that has been said about my mom, but um, something I want to say. I've been very selfish because I thought mom belonged to me by myself. <laughs> you know, um, um, I was very close to my mother because um, when Bishop left home and these girls are, girls are girls, all the things you hear about her work ethics, um, I was the one who was doing all those things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a few examples of those things they are saying because you can say that she was hard working. When you hear that she was a tailor, she used to have two machines. One was for her and the other one was for me. So yes, <laughs> um, I could sit, we, uh, she used to sit on one. You see when you are tailoring, you have to, to cut the materials. She could cut the materials and then she could tell me, come on, do this. You know, I could do that. Then when you hear that um, she used to have, uh, she was a subsistence farmer, I was the one who was taking care of those things. <laughs> so she could send me to go and gather um, pasture for the, for, the, for the cow. We had one cow, but there was... Um, she was very blessed, by the way, and um, um, she bought me a, a goat. And in the, you know, we are hustling with her. Hustle, hustle is not, a, is not, a, is a, not a new word. You know, we used to do that anyway. She got, when she got me that goat, it had uh, Jagaba. I don't know what that's in uh, in in, in the logo, I don't know. Jagaba. <laughs> You know, anybody identify Jagana? Yeah? There are two things that comes out here in shape. So, 
This God was so special because it used to give birth to twins. Now myself, I took care of this God so well. Within about three years, I had about 25 very beautiful gods. That now I'm telling you, when you hear that she was a subsistence farmer, she done that, and uh, we are working with her. So I always tell my wife, I used to hold my mom like, like this. Because I, all the, all, I thought she belonged to me. So when you hear that Gadon uh, is saying my mom was uh, selfish, I thought I, I got it from her. <laughs> now, um, one thing I want to tell you about what my wife has said when mom came to visit us, when we got married uh, 2003, August, she was not able to come, but Bishop represented the family. And then in December, they came. Uh, I want you to, uh, when you hear that she was a woman of few words, my mom will never tell you where. <laughs> now they've come to our, to our house. Me, I know how my, my dad is. I <laughs> Sir, now is Kukudina. My mom, my father eats Ugari. And uh, my wife was doing a shift job, uh, maybe from seven in the morning to three in the afternoon, and we are living far from what we were where we were living. She used to commute. So um, myself, I would leave very early, very early in the morning, and then come back late in the evening. So I don't know how uh, I don't know how they managed to cook. But now, my mom is in the house. Jackie, I don't take my mom. This is the kind of food he likes. Um, this is now coming to why you, 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 you really don't have to say anything. You can, that wisdom, you it can just emit without saying anything. Because my mom was a woman of very few words. Uh, Jackie went and prepared a stew for the Ugali. She, she, she's struggling to walk around again, ma. When it's finished, she called my mom. Hey, mom, a book with My mom, at the house, I'm going to pour a pot of tea for the kitchen. Pour a pot of tea. I can't believe that. I'm going to take one in. I'm going to take one in. I'm going to take one in. My mom, at the house, I'm going to My mom went back. I'm going to take But, when, when Jackie, um, uh, my wife, when she said my mom is a powerhouse, two powerhouses, they collided, both of them. And there was an explosion or earthquake. I, I've heard the word. <laughs> now, Jackie thought, I can't cook And still is there. Jackie was, I can't cook my My dad looks a nice thing. They were amazing. Now, told Jackie, my father told Jackie, hey, Wakaida, you know these videos that you made? In all honesty, Pastor Inaza Umiza Nani Meno. I just told Inaza to Meza. But he was telling her indirectly, this is not my portion. <laughs> now, now, when I saw this struggle, I said, I'm going to jump in. Now, my mom told me, okay. Uh, I said, I'm going to get my wife out of this business. Why? Then I came and cooked Ugali. We ate. It was it? By the way, I, like, I love cooking. All those who, know, those who know me, I love cooking. I love the kitchen. Hey, uh, I don't know, I can't remember exactly the circumstances, but my father summoned me in my own living room. <laughs> and then, you see those, those, those sofa sets, they have a small, you know, uh, like a small boundary, the, the, the three-seater. My father is sitting here, my mother is sitting next to him, and then I'm sitting uh, in front of them. When I was summoned, my mother moved from where she was sitting in the middle to the corner. So there is a gap here. I did not know why. 
Rudy, my father asked, told me, Kratom, hey, we just me, my mother, my, my, myself and your mother, we are very worried. But because, I don't know how to do it. job the way they want you have no right to tell them how to live and what you're gonna do when we go back to your bomber you can say what you want <laughs> so this this is we want to me i'm hearing it now, now before you get back, i think i have to be my father nice <laughs> and uh, i used to call them during the day Lovely, lovely girl. I love my mom very much. Uh, my mom could tell me we used to have chicken, not not just the, the, the cow and the sheep and, and the goats. We used to have chicken, Kenyanji. And she loved chicken so much. So again, Yambia Kerato, do this, and up a chicken pen, that one is hard. It is hard. But she cannot tell me that because I don't know how to do that. One lesson I have learned, and even today I love it. My mom taught me how to slaughter chicken. And in Yambiaje, listen, this is how you slaughter chicken. Unashika, unayalishachini, unakanyanga. If otherwise, we have to So, do it. From what Auntie Gadoni has said, I'm feeling like I'm almost somehow their last born also, because most of the things she went through, I also went through. So here's my tribute. My name, as you fondly called me, what a glorious 32 years it's been of knowing and loving you and being loved back. Thank you for memories, as that's what's now left, and that's what you've left me with. It's heartbreaking that you've left us, but it's also a big joy that you're now in the happiest place you always said you would go one day. My name, it's taking me a long while to fully acknowledge that you're gone, and it's forever. I can't wait for the day when I'll see you again, but until then, rest and rest in peace, for we are okay. 
You took your time to teach and advise, first your children, then your grandchildren, your nieces and nephews, and because you were selfless, women in church and anyone else would listen. Your family will definitely, without a doubt, say, we have become imperative savers because of you. Every time money came your way, every time money comes your way, tithe and savings should be your first priority. They are the major investments that you will one day enjoy. Look at me. This is what I now live on. That's what you tell me. I remember the magic clothes we wear after you make your dresses and make for me the remaining materials. I remember having my own a small kajembe, kahoma, and kiondo for farming. I remember carrying a small load of firewood as you carried your big one. All these things I did because I wanted to be like you. Now I also remember the discipline method you fondly used. My thighs can never forget that. Never. You used to say, you have eyes all over. The way you'd sweet talk someone into it, only God knows how. My brother Ted cannot even explain it to. We'd obviously had made you angry and we'd know it. You'd calmly call us aside or near you and we'd do it. Okitushika too. Machozi, juusauti umetukanya kutoa. If there were visitors around, They'd see we were red tearless eyes. You are a master disciplinarian. Your children might tell a different way you deal with them, and we will all together have time of the game. I rejoice even more that you got to meet me family and all your tomatoes. I always miss I always miss our chats because I'm a seeing how you treat my children. I'll miss the random broken text at send, and they'd make you so, so happy. Shosho Negwedete will always, always get me a joyous phone call. I'll miss you so much. You are stylish, you are thoroughly clean, you are confident in what you, was right and wrong, you are honest, you are prayer warrior, you are kind, you are caring, and the best for all of us. It is sad that you've left a hole that can never be filled, but with us knowing those for the best the years of your life, we thank God and praise him for we could never have asked for a better mentor, a better social man, sister, auntie, or friend. We are truly blessed to be here now to talk about you, your life, your legacy, your impact on different people. My name you really gone, hard pill to swallow, but we will be okay. For staying true to your beliefs, to fully trusting in the Lord's word in your life, and believing so strong on your final destination. Um I'm introducing. Okay. Um, done? Yes. Okay. Um, the next thing you're going to do, I am told the grandchildren have a song. You'll do the song. Uh, uh, after we hear this tribute from Kamau, who is a, a glad child. He's uh, a tribute, for, I believe, from the UK. From the US, from the US. We are the very big project to be. Glad to hear you. 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 Glad um, my name is Simon Kamau, and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to read my tribute. Actually, before I read my tribute, uh, there was a time when, after finishing my college, when I was in Kenya, I was a hustler, so I was hustling. And uh, if there's one thing uh, that my grandmother, I know her about, is that she was a, a woman of prayer. She prayed with me, she prayed for me, and her prayers have made me who I am. And I have seen blessings uh, through her prayers. Allow me to read the video. Your friends and family 
All of us are gathered here because of one great heroine, my grandmother. Yes, some of us here used uh, to call her my sister, and others refer to her as my brethren. Whatever the version we used to refer to her, Mama Bishop, she is a great hero. As I look up to the sky above, the stars and galaxies stretch endless for the many good things she has done for the church, family, and society. Somehow, all the leaves of life seem dimmer now. Though I see the branches of trees swaying, watch their dancing leaves. The echoes hurrying the release sound from sound and safety. So watch the morning of the sun being used to set in the west. The hope of seeing her again, the talking to her is blooming in that. I am happy because I love her. I shall see her on the resurrection morning at the time of Jesus Christ. And I will love her. Let me see. To know that she's gone, the days, weeks, and months ahead will never be the same again. Because her pressure, the old ones in our family, church, and society has it. The Lord is in us. Though someday we greet me today, I think that we still play with us for many days to come. I'm glad to know that I was blessed to have been one whose life she has had in her great love and encouragement in her. I believe that all of us have shared our own touch and love. Therefore, my call is but one. We are our mothers, our controls, to our model, to do this ahead. As she successfully shared her love with her in doing the right things in our family, church, community, and society, when we extend her legacy by doing what we know she would do if she were still with us. Thank you, social. No fire in heaven. Love you, Jesus Christ. Bless you, please. Take me with you. Thank you. Thank you, Kamau. The brethren will do a song. Wajukuwa taimba wimbo. If they are ready. Kamau kotiari. Thank you very much. My name is Njoro. In front of you is Shoshu. Our grandchildren, uh, grandchildren, uh, uh, our late Virginia Wanjiro. So even as we sing this song, it's just a reflection of what she has taught us. It's just yeah. a reflection of her purpose that was that she had in the, in our lives. Not just us, but every one of you. And we know deep down, we'll always remember that my redeemer lives.
God that spins things in no be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The stirring in your soul has left you wondering Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dream
Amen. 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 Si 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 jameni si mama si mama. Rogaba ina magoro mani. Si wabi ya watoto bali kwe ni. Mene imara tibo. Amen. Amen. And also possess it. Pia imiliki. Sema barikiwe ni na hata wangu wa barikiwe. Ugai muradhimo onashia kona shio iladhimo. Why you are standing? Why you are still standing? Ukome sima maju. It's my honor to invite the pastor of this church. Ni shima yangu kumualika mchungaji wa kanisa hili. Bishop Dr. Francis M. Kamau. Askofu Dr. Francis M. Kamau. Continue from here. Ile ndelea kutoka pale. And because we have it later will come on board. Akilita baada ni tareje. Thank you for being honorable people. Asante kwa kuwa waheshimi. Mume tuli Amen. You may be seated. Amina, tafadhali mketi kwenye vitu. Well. watching online wale ambao wanatazama kwenye mtandao um mind is to say i've known kamau and jacky for over 23 years sema ni mwajua kamau na jacky kwa zaidi ya miaka 23 and the first time i met funny enough we met jacky and i met kamau at the same time wa jambo la kushangaza ni kwamba tulikutana wakati sawia and uh Read, read Kamau's book, that's what I'll say. There's a story there. Kamau but uh, when, when I met Kamau, it was love at first sight. And you learned with me, after 23 years, we have different layers of of relationships. So Kamau is the brother I never had. Uh, and, uh, he is my best friend. And he is also Jackie and Kamau are also the godparents to my daughter. Na pia Jackie na Kamau ni wasimamizi wa mtoto wangu. So our relationship goes deep 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 deep. Kwa uhusiano wetu ni wakina kweli. And um, I wanted to say so I've also had the privilege to meet mama a few times. Ningependa kusema kuwa pia nimekuwa na fursa ya kutana mama mara nyingi. One of the signs is when uh, mama and dad came to London. Wakati moja ni wakati walipokuja kule. And I think come out there's a story we forgot to tell them because mom came in December and it was very cold. Kako. Very very cold. Kama umesahau kusema kuwa mama yake alikuja kwa 
because she came, she came in dresses. It was, it was a big battle trying to get mom to wear trousers. As you all know, uh, December in the UK is very, very, very cold. And uh, needless to say, uh, as much as we had tried to convince her, uh, we failed tremendously, but the weather did that for us. Because after a while, I think she realized that uh, if she doesn't uh, wear trousers to keep warm, eh? she will be coming back to Kenya frozen. But um, one of the things that struck me about mom is that, I mean, a lot of things have been said about mom. She was a great woman, a prayerful woman, a woman of great wisdom, a woman of virtue, a gentle giant. And About mom, I, I have had it through Kamau, and also just being here and interacting with people, and all the things that um, everybody has said about mom, and um, I find myself reflecting and asking myself, when I leave this earth, what will people say about me? And even in her death, even in her death she's a role model, and she continues to challenge us, especially us who are, are young, and um, to, to do better and to think about um, um, our legacy. So, Kamau, on behalf of Kamau and Jackie, on behalf of your friends from the UK, we want to tell you that we stand with you. Uh, we bring our condolences message and we say that it is well. It shall be well. It may not be well now. Yes, your hearts are broken. Yes, you're feeling the pain, but it shall be well with you. The Bible says in, I think it's Psalms 34, 18, that the Lord is close to the broken hearted. And I pray that the Lord will walk through, with you through this journey. They talk about the different stages of grief, from denial to, to anger to bargaining to, um, I, I mean, you, the named ones, to acceptance and all of that. But just to remind you that grief is not linear. And you will go through different emotions. As you remember, mom, one day you wake up and you're okay, the next minute you're broken, and that is perfectly okay because that is what the process is of grief. But I thank you because you have very many, many memories. You have very many, many memories that you shared with mom, and you will remember her. So be a bit when you go back to the UK, your friends in the UK, we are holding your hand and your hand, and you know that you can lean on us. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. And the team from the UK. Like you the UK. Now, I will need to transition the service very quickly. I'm waiting for George Chikenjo and company to come. The Honorable Member of Parliament for the Goreti South has an emergency meeting that has been scheduled just abruptly. And all of you know what side of this political divide he leans to work. <laughs> and then there is another one here <laughs> who has also been summoned by the President of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> so there is one on the better side and one on <laughs> Eh, KJ check. Leo tunachukua cash. cash. very quickly, I like to ask you, give him the mic so he can greet us there. Now we get your know how we're Father God, we thank you for this gathered community here. And as we prepare to, to receive this, uh, this offering, whatever your people are giving, we release a blessing. We release joyful giving. And may it be returned upon your people bountifully. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Where she you want? Please. Pause the giving until Mweshinua is done.
And I'm told before he speaks that I should acknowledge and be a friend of ours. I know you are here, you came very early. Honorable Yes, of course, she's over there. Thank you for coming and controlling with us. Wow. Bishop Oshiora. But um, to Bishop Kamau and our mom, Ruth, your family, the extended Cornerstone family, the people of uh, the Gureti South, where this church has been ministering, and everyone who's gathered here, I stand here on my behalf, on behalf of a good friend of this family, my wife, on behalf of the entire the Great South constituency, to send our condolences to the Kamau family on the loss of their mom, Virginia Waboy Kamau, Wajiro Kamau, and I start by saying, Bishop, to you and your siblings, that no one is ever old enough to lose a parent. The mom may have lived for 83 years, but she, had must, she might have seen you grow up to be the people that you have become, but you still have children. And so we can understand the grief, the pain, the sorrow, and even the shock that this family is going through. And we have been created in such a way that when one of us who we love departs, we have to go through a period of mourning. But I'm encouraged this morning that the good book tells us that mourning may endure through the night, but joy will come in the morning. And some of us stood here so that we can stand with this family because this family, I would speak for myself personally, that Bishop, your family has opened your family door, door to us. We've spent great times of encouragement with your family. It is very rare that you get a friend who walks with you through all seasons without judging you. Because politicians have a reputation. And we are taken in a certain way. And so some people would never even want to touch politicians, even with a seven-foot pole. Because I don't know what happened in politics that we ended up getting a reputation that we hear of politicians. But you, Bishop, and your family have opened your door, your family door, to us. And for that, we are eternally grateful. <laughs> the good book says that you shall know them by their fruits. And by their fruits, you shall know them. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to meet mom personally. But every time you look at Bishop, his beautiful family. And today I've met your siblings. I can tell what kind of a person mom was. It was during, it was during the COVID period that, um, and soon after, that um, we would come to your house with Koi. And um, we would, at some point, and mom knows, we would end up upstairs. And this amazing young man, Simon, would do wonders. This kid is an artist. He can draw. And in that way, we connect because I also love drawing. And around that time, the sister uh, would mostly be at school. And Simon would tell me about his sister and how gifted the sister is. And instead of gloating in the praises that would shower on him, every time we say something special about Simon, he would deflect it and say that we do this with my sister. That my sister does it better. That I was taught uh, to do this thing by my older sister. And that is the character of this Kamau family. That we understand the great principle of the oneness of existence. That we suffer when we are separated. 
that when we separate with God, we suffer. When we separate from God's creation, we suffer. But this family is a great example of the oneness that God intends for families, for society, for community, for our country, and ultimately for humanity. And I would say, without any fear of contradiction, that that is our mom's legacy. That we should not, and we shall not, count the years that she has lived. We shall not count the number of years in her life, her life but we shall count the life that she has put into the 83 years that she has lived. And this is evident from every single speaker who has spoken here. Whether they are related to you by blood, or however the relationship is, we can see that coming through in a glowing way. I've met Kirato today. And I, am, I was seated there wondering, should he be writing a book or should he be joining us to do stand-up comedy? I think the comedy more. And I think this is a way of dealing with grief. It is also a way of telling some truths. Kirato. A writer, a humorist by the name Oscar Wilde once wrote and said that if you want to tell the people the truth, make them laugh. Otherwise, they will kill you. Right. People don't love hearing truths. You have a gift and you can use that gift to tell great truths about this life. Yes. I would like to end it here by saying that solemn as this event be, sad as it must be for us to lose mom, this family is around great friends, great warmth, but very soon, Bishop, we shall all be leaving. After this service, you shall be left on your own. And I want to end by encouraging you and your family that it is well written in the good book. And it was said here before, and even sung, and sung in a special way by a most unlikely musician, by a most unlikely gospel artist, professor himself. He sang out of a good piece of, of, um, of the word. And that's the word I want to leave with you and with the church. That sad as it might be, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies are new every morning. And great is his faithfulness. That even if we were to leave you on your own, there is that one who shall never leave you and will be with you. Even in these very trying moments, his mercies are new every morning. Bishop, no one here did a motoreku. And then that took in your house. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? I wouldn't want to. Um, it is not in my character to not sit through service, uh, but I've shared the messages with, uh, he has seen it on the screen, on, uh, on my phone uh, for, with Pastor Kere. We had nominations yesterday, and I would like to say a big thank you to the Dagoretti South Fraternity for the trust that you bestowed on me yesterday, that you gave me the opportunity to run again as member of Parliament Dagoretti South constituency on the UDA ticket, and for that, I am grateful. It is he, my leader, William Samoya Lapruto, who has just called so that we can go and give a report on the nominations that happened yesterday. Nani Gweda Juge, Korea do it, Dagureti South, Mawira Maumona Miaketa, no, Menyai, Eone Divai, ya Beremu Ashama, Nakira Kere, Kaniro Kirajira, Ate Divai, ya Kere. Thank you very much.
to be with the Lord also. This is Mama's special seat. And not just the seat. Investment yake in the house of God. Let the church to love her to do anything and everything possible for her to be comfortable in his house. And we thank you Cornerstone for blessing our mother that she loved church and church loved her in return. Amen. 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 Simon, 
Captain Simon's mama. And then uh, in uh, biological sequence, I follow and then the one on that side. And her son is the one who has eulogized from the US. So God bless you, no me karete. So let me uh, invite uh, one of our very distinguished friends and leaders in this nation. The Archbishop Dr. Eric Barabara is very well known not just here in Kenya but around the world. He influences the high and the low far and wide and he's got to do something special this afternoon for the presidential request. Well, praise the Lord. Hey, come on, come here. Come here. He was only Wonderful. Thank you, Kristo. Men of few words. Well, my name is uh, Archbishop Dr. Jerry Kibarabara. I minister with the Gospel Assemblies of Kenya. And uh, most of the people who are earlier on, who are over uh, maybe 35 or 40 years old. Knew me as the president of the full
Arageria munu mudhoku akahorera. Anazungumzia mtu ambaye ameharibika na tumia. Arageria munu mudheni akadhenuka. Anazungumzia maskini anakuwa tajiri. We need all the talents in the family. Katika kila maeneo kwenye jamii. No nyumba enge shiaro ni mtumio wa shiare na rekamwe. Lakini nyumba kama hii amba, mama kama huyu akiza angaa nabii moja. Sisi manabii tunaweza furahi sana. you are a blessed family even after your mother has gone. Ninasema kwa manyini jamii iliyobarikiwa hata baada ya mama yenu kuondoka. Mnaradhimia sana. Mnaradhimia zaidi. Kwa sababu sasa muna nabii. Na nyote ndamu muna chachi nyote. Na nyote ni muone kanisani. This is wonderful. Hii ni ya kipekee. Onatotiko hata tufikiria kama hapa kuna mali nyingi kwa mba muneza pigana Mambiwa na askofu hapa kuna kitu kama hiyo Hii utende kama hali kuingi Especially kwa wakikui kuna mambu And why all their tongue Watu wengi matajiri Matajiri wengi wakikuyu Wakifa kuna kuwa na vita Lakini nyumba hii Ya Virginia Ya Virginia Let me tell you Wacha nuambie Hii mutile kendo mongeaga Hii ya kuna chuchote muneza kosa No muongele iluwa muno Muongele iluwa Muongezewe zaidi Muongele iluwa muno Muongezewe zaidi In Jesus name Kwa jina la Yesu Tutika na igwe mundu na leshiri ya lea Ay Ni angadia hiru wa shio the name of me Nisisikia mtu wakisema ya komba Oo misiku patuwe yote na mama yangu Finally Hatimae Ne Odo ngweda kumuigwithi yomwe. Nijamu moja ningependa kuwa shawishi. Mutu. Nale kitu wakua kakukuthi. Mutu hakuna anacho beba kutoka ulimwenguni. Nule. Hakuna. Tika shianashi ya kumungasha mani ya nashio. Ispokuwa ototo wako mtakutana na wawo. Leo mamu. Nimunga shamani ya naki yoyo. Sasa mamu mtakutana na ee. Nindaigu wa mwali horo mwenye mwenye wama ito. Nimesikia mkizungumza mengi mbakubwa kuzu mama. Nandaigu wa naika lete kashie. 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 Nandaigu Uko hapa. Uko hapa. Uko hapa. Uyo wakashie. Uyo wakashie. Oh, it's okay. Ni sawa. So, ni kuongo maga. Mana mi ulala kashie. Ni kuongo maga kuhu. Mi ulala huko. Ndeta kugatirele. Ngependa kusema. Mami, ndeta kendo wa kuwa. Hakuna chochote ambacho mama mebeba. Ona etoi gatirele. Ata mina sema. Kukie na designer wa madhandu kumangi. Kukue na designer mwingine. Eo, kutho wadeka madhandu kumaya. Ambaya tatengeneza jeneza kaizi. Ekire mo konja. Aweke mikono inje. Mundu wakomete moko makono onja. Mtu wakiwa amelala mikono inakuwa inaonekana inje. Tono kutikini makuwete moko. Sabu hakuna wamebeba kwa mkono. Hakuna chota ambacho wamebeba kwenye mikono. Look at me please. Nitazame tafadhali. Mundu wakomete. Mtu wakiwa amelala. Nandungu koma ni undu toni ndaki ugo kome. Nasi utalala kwa sabu nimesemu ulale. Asha. Hapana. Listen. Nisikiza. Mukigie madha nduku hui. Kue na jeneza. Ligu dhonde kwa moko makavye. Ligu dhonde kwa moko ambaye itatengenezwa mikono huo inatoka nje ya jeneza. Ili kila moja adhibitishe kweli hakuna chochote ambacho amebeba. Ni muzima tu wa milele. I'm so glad to be here this afternoon. Nina furaha sana kuwa hapa dhuri ya leo. Na ndaro kama na yenyewe. Na nimesimama na nyinyi. Na ndo wameta na bishop. Na nimesimama na askofu. Na family yake. Na jamii yake. And uh, we honor you so much. Na tunakuheshimu sana. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. So thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Asante. Asante Mungu awabariki. Amen. Amen. Kai tukadhiria Kai ni ndo Archbishop tumsifu Mungu kwa sababu ya askofu mkuu Amen Amina Archbishop uh, we will be inviting you different circumstances Askofu mkuu tutakualika kwa mambo tofauti Nigetha uke oradhime kigogona gya cornerstone Ili uje bariki Is that okay cornerstone Amen let's Amina. give the Lord up a hand again Tupigie tena makofi I know we have uh, a large number of clergy bishops archbishops uh, other levels of uh, uh, ecclesiastical responsibilities and duties and titles. Ninajua tuko na wachungaji wa viwango tofauti askofu na kila aina ya mtumishi. But for the interest of time, lakini kwa ajili ya muda, I just ask all the clergy who are here to stand. Ningependa kuuliza ubiri wachungaji wote walioko hapo wasimame. Whatever title you are, Pasipo kujalisha Please stand chocha. wherever you are so Sima, we can acknowledge your presence. Si wama tupo pote ulipo tukutambue. Okay, all the clergies are seated here on that side. Waubiri oto wa mesima wapande hii. I am not able to introduce any of them. Siwezi kwa tangulisha wote. 
But we thank God for you for coming to stand with us. Some of those you see standing there are the community of Cornerstone. And a good number work with me in other organizations like DCPI and uh, another umbrella organization we run together. Give these ministers of the gospel a powerful hand. Please be seated except Pastor Joseph Gedeshi. The man standing there was my mom's local church pastor. And then when she transitioned and left the church, there in Deya, she became my mushirika. So I took over the baton to pass the man from him. The overseer of my mom's pastor is here in the sanctuary, uh, Bishop Sama. Uh, Bishop uh, Kahora. Bishop Askof Kahora. He is the one who will be conducting the burial activity for mom. So he was his overseer. And when my mom was elevated to work within the parish as the parish women's leader, he worked directly under the, the, the bishop, uh, Bishop Simon Kahora. Please give them a good hand. Maybe be seated. And now, when I began ministry, the man I aspired to become like, who was our national or our regional leader, is the one who is coming now to share the word of the Lord with us. Those two you saw standing, all of us emerged into the ministry and into leadership through him. And I'd like to have the podium now as quickly as possible. Let me introduce him in the most honorable way I can. And and I'll say two things and then I'll bring the speaker. I went to Bible college and I was limited financially. And every so often I'll find that I'm chased from school and I would run to my bishop and I'll tell him and those days there were no cell phones. You tell me, go back and say, and we were a good number of uh, young leaders who were in the same level economically as me. The late Bishop Njogu. The late uh, Bishop Julius Minor, Bishop uh, Dr. Christopher Wanyeki seated over there, Bishop Simama Kidogo, and a good number of us were shepherded and guided and nurtured to go through Bible college and even begin our early ministry. This man is very respectable. He is the presiding bishop of the Gospel Evangelistic Church of Kenya. Senior Pastor Buruburu Calvary Temple. And beyond that, he is a national leader of different organizations. International, international leader of organizations headquartered elsewhere. Organizations tofauti. But above everything else, he's a lover of Jesus. Stand everyone, let us receive Bishop Dr. Patrick Mogai Wamarai. Thank you. Let us remain standing for the reading of the scripture. Dr. Kamau, thank you from the very bottom of my heart. We're going to read from 1 Corinthians 
chapter 15, verse number 50. Remain standing for the reading of the scripture. Dr. Kamau, thank you for your kind words. You mean so much to me. And in fact, when I entered, I saw Kahora there. And I walked it to him and I said, do you remember me? He said, yes, I do. So I remember him and he's a good fellow. Let me tell you. Hakuna kitu chamana kama kumtumikia mungu. Nasema hakuna kitu chamana kama kumtumikia mungu. I believe, doctor, you'll give me someone to be reading if I need some reading. But for this one, I'll do the reading. This is First Corinthians. Chapter 15, verse number 50. What does the book say? I read now. 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse number 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall have we shall be changed in a moment of the twinkling of an eye in the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corrupt or this corruptible shall be listen for this corruptible must put on incorruptible incorruption and this motto must put on immortality so that this corrupt, uh, corruptible shall put on incorruption and this motto has put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory eternal father we bless you to remember what eternal father we acknowledge your majesty and your power. And Lord, we do commit ourselves to you. We are trusting and believing that you will send sufficient grace that will cover everyone to cover the family of our sister. It will cover the, the in-laws and friends. And because you are Jehovah, cause us to hear from you and cause us to see you. In Jesus' name we pray. Please take your seats. Nimeambiwa ni hubiri na kizungu, na kingriki, na kichochote. Mimi na furaha sana leo, daktali, ulipo ni alika. Na mimi na sema condolences zangu, mke wangu, kanisa letu la gospel evangelistic church of Kenya, Tunajua kuondokewa na mzazi. Si jambo ambalo mtu fulani atakupa akupe dawa upone haraka. Na sisi wote na wale ambao umekuwa mkikutana. Daktari na mke wako na watoto wako na watu wenu. Kile kitu ambacho tunaweza kufanya ni kuleta kitu ambacho tunaweza kuita the presence of Jesus. Because we do not. I attended Lee University and I attended O. Roberts University. I graduated from Kenyatta University with a PhD in philosophy and religious studies. But I was never taught how I was never taught the word that a grieving person can be taught. Because we are attached differently. Kila mtu ameguzwa kivyake. And when you lose a mother or a father, a son or a daughter, there are many people who have been hurt, wounded, touched. Lakini level ya kuumia ni tofauti. The levels of the wound, the levels of the brand, the pain, valleys a lot. And since we do not have that understanding, that clarity, that revelation, what all we do is to come together and bring the presence of Jesus. And when we bring the presence of Jesus, 
there are many, many instruments. The voices from the singers, the preachers, the people who don't talk much. There will come a healing from a source that comes from God. And I know, Bishop Kamau and your wife and children, and all the members of the family, you have been wounded. It is our prayer, our being here, and bringing the presence of Jesus. Give a good hand to the Lord. Now, Mimi na leta salamu za mke wangu mama Sera alikuwa akuje lakini tuli itwa na bishop just one and a half days ago and there were so many arrangements that we were not able to dismantle every one of them and so we are here and I say we are here because I'm carrying so many people behind me you may not see them because you're not very spiritual <laughs> But for those of you who are very spiritual, you can see the individuals and people I'm carrying to come and moon with you. We love you and we wish you well. Now, I believe you have written 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 50 onwards. I want also you to write that this is 2 p.m. It is past nine minutes. So also write that. Because some of these people may say the preacher preached the whole day. And they will accuse me for no apparent reason. Please, if you are going to listen, write this time. L write one, one what? It, one, it is one what? One, two, bars. Umeandika? Andika we uja, andika we uja, andika. Andika, ili nikistakiwa munitete. Ya kwamba, they did everything. But they gave the preacher a few minutes past two. So please, I did not preach from morning to now. So I will tell you how much time I have used. Because uh, Dr. K Dr. Uh, uh, Christopher is, will be my secretary. <laughs> Note to that time. Do the calculation. And before I give this microphone, I want you to tell, me, to tell them how much time I spent. Meaning I'm going to be very fast. Blood and flesh, blood and flesh cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Ladies and gentlemen, let me address ourselves, our mother, our sister, our aunt has gone. When before Dr. Kibarabara left, he's 75 and I don't want to tell you how, what is my age myself. Mine is very confidential. Very confidential. Treat it that way. So I told him, <laughs> thank you, Barabara. You know you are 75. And the, book, uh, the eulogy is say, saying 83. Am I right? So you can see how close you are. <laughs> and possibly that is why he has left area. <laughs> because I was also going to remind him. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Our sister is gone. Only one thing I noticed, and this is only the information I'm going to release, that if I was a neighbor, I could have attended the wedding, the one they said of 1960. Yeah. Leave the rest alone. Now, this is the catch. This is the catch. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. All of us do know. Ya kwamba sisi hushugulikia nyama na damu kuliko kitu kigine chochote. In fact, you are someone why, why, you, why, why are you going to school? Eni naenda shule ili nitakapokuwa mtu mkubwa. Niwe na mali yangu na pesa yangu. Na nizuri, that's a good thing. But flesh and blood. Nyama na adhakame. Nishiagilio kugaya. Udhamaki wagai. 
If you are going to inherit the kingdom of God, you must pass another route. Our bodies, our blood, and everything we have are instruments of grace. And therefore, we must apply every instrument we have in the support of that which is forever. Be it education or anything like that. So, friends, the Bible is very clear and I have no time. But if you read when you get home first, the Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to, that, to 17, you hear the same words that Paul had, had written or wrote in what I read you earlier. But what is the direction? What is the word that can comfort us? My sister, Virginia, cannot listen to this preaching. She does not need any of this. But this meeting has turned to be of great grace that the family can meet and eulogize and see the great things that this lady has done. And your story was a true story. Then that story becomes important for the people who had it. And without telling it, it would have not benefited us. But the benefits that we talk today are not going to her because we said them. They are going to her because she performed what you are saying. Therefore, we must remind ourselves, you cannot wait to do good when you are dead because you cannot do. But when you are dead, you can be, you can be, a Bible. You can be a walking Bible even when you are dead. When people refer you to what you said, what you did, what you accomplished, reminding yourself that blood, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. I was prepared to read the list of the people who are going to heaven from here among us you, but I'm going to avoid that list. <laughs> and I'm also, I was also going to read the list of those who will go to heaven. But I'll try to tell you where you can find that list. Nitawapa mtandao. And you can read it for yourself. The reason why the Bible says that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, if you read for yourself from the book of Galatians, number 16, and you go on, Galatians chapter 5, if you go and read at home, because I'm not going to try to read, if you go and try to read the Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 21, it says, it talks about mambo ya mwili. Inasema mambo ya mwili ni haya, na haya, na haya. Na wale watendao hayo yote, hawataridhi ufalme wa mungu. And those people who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. When Moheshimiwa was here, and all of us are here even now, we call people by what they do. Dr. Kamau asked the preachers to stand. He did not mention their names, but he introduced them by what they do. And he said, if you are a preacher, stand on your feet. And they all stood. I didn't stand, not because I had that backslidden, because I knew I was going to be called. And so if you have any doubt, I am a preacher. <laughs> so you introduce them by what they do. If, if you call a big meeting and there are five members of parliament, and you say, Waheshimiwa Wote, member of parliament, they stand. You identify them by what they do. Walimu Wote Wasimame. Ata siku ya mungu ikifika, nipoza majina ya naitu wa sasa pale. 
Mungu atasema. And it says if you read from Galatians chapter 5 verse number 21 22 onwards you read the 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 gifts of the spirit the fruits of the spirit but when you read from 16 to 21 it says now are now tend higher hakuna mtu atakai read ufalme wa Mungu so what are they sahi na usiamke ukisema wezi simama hapa kuna wezi hapa gai ni muira ni hali ah if this was the day of the lord and god now was calling people by their names you know we have seven billion people in the world so if god will call everyone by the name he will spend so many years to call the least and therefore he has a way to calling the whole world in only two statements when you haki simama now what when you haki what does simama when you can be what was simama muta simama tu now the bible says hakuna mtu atendaye mambo ya wizi uchawi uganga a b c d jisome nyumbani utakuta jina lako pale if that is what you do because you are addressed by what you do wezi simameni walefi simameni wakora simameni ile mabiria koma ka malito malage to na even now the names are being called the bible says in romans chapter 6 number 23 the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ and jesus christ himself said i am the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except by me yes. meaning virginia wanjiru has called this meeting and it is a wonderful evangelistic meeting for me and for you and for all of us because she didn't have a date in her memory in her books as to when she will be called but every time you are a candidate you can be called mimi nimekufa mara mbili i'm serious mimi nimekufa sasa mara mbili lakini nilikuwa na bahati nilifufuka guy i'm serious <laughs> yeah serious i have died twice when i was very young 1956 nilikula shukari ya baba alikuwa amenunulia guka ya pombe nikakula shukari yote na baadaye ikawa ni mawe kwa tumbo na nikagonjeka seriously nikagonjeka maitu mukuru akakuja akaitwa kutoka nyandoma tulikuwa gikohi akaambiwa maraika nini nikatolirio ni mulimu and one evening wakiwa amenisunguka nikapoa ingehorogu dadi mali matawali di okiuga no na mani data idirie bibi that is many years ago na nidirikanaga nge dakinya ule gigwa lira daguru mukire to data idia no ke do kire makiwa terere ni atuekana they thought i was gone Maho de this word ni atuekana so i knew ni dakuite tiga ko garalia dukagerie jire wa gikurio ka we now the second time that i died guy ni thank you ni kodi okagia guy i'm serious i got very sick we went to uganda and we were there for ministry and when i came home i caught malaria and i was very sick i had cerebral malaria very sick and one afternoon we were in magena in fact i did not say i was the superintendent of him because i fear him <laughs> he's a friend of mine nika konjeka tulikuwa magena in fact your mother was served when i was there I was in Magena from 
And that is when we opened this church. And I remember coming for Harambe in your church. You remember that? Manieta inukirita enabia niko hebio mothi. Ndiye ke inukaita le nabia le rio tare bia. Na le nyuno ke itare bia le rio enabia. Would it be fair? We gave all the money we had. And that is why God is blessing all of us together. It's no complain. My listen. Hiyo siku nikawa mugojwa na ukiona watu wakija kuingia kwa kitanda yako na umeoa wewe ni mugojwa. It's beyond. So yule mke wa leti njiri na wasichana wengine vijana had already nilikuwa nimeoa because I married 1970. Sasa hii ni 71. Hata hatuna kamtoto. One year. Watu wakaingia wakanisunguka kwa kitanda. Na ukiona watu wakiingia kwa kitanda kukusunguka. Ujue chances ni kidogo sana. So they surrounded me. Then all of a sudden maraika akakuja. Yule maraika alipokuja akaja ameshika maua. Yalikuwa maridadi sana na akaja na kadi siku zile tulikuwa mzungu akikuajiri una kadi ya kiblu imeandikwa siku 30 ile unaingia inakuwa ticket na ukikosa inakuwa cancelled ili mwisho wa mwezi hamtakuwa na furugu ni siku gani ulifanya kwa hivyo yule maraika akaja na kadi na maua akaniambia akaniambia Mutu akipewa kadi hii apokee ataendelea na kazi atachoka na atajaribiwa Mutu akipewa maua haya ayachukue hatachoka tena hatajaribiwa Na anaingia kwenye uzima wa milele Sasa yule maraika aliponiambia hayo ya kwamba nikipata hii kadi na na zote mbili ana kadi na maua Na ananiambia ukishukua hii kadi utaendelea na maisha ya dunia hii utateswa utajaribiwa and ukichukua maua haya hutajaribiwa tena hutakojeka tena kwa hivyo mimi nikaamua katika moyo wangu hata siku kukumbuka sijalizi na mtoto wa kuacha sababu mtu akifa hana kitu ya kuacha na hana kitu ya kuacha na hana haja ya kitu ya kuacha <laughs> it is this body that it needs And when you come out of this body you have no other needs. Kwa hivyo mimi nikaamua haya maua nitayachukua kwa sababu ameashika hivi. Mimi nikaelekeza mkono kwa maua. Nilipo na ni ndoto na watu wamenisunguka hapa hawajui kile kinaendelea. I am mtoto koma. Nikarusha mkono wangu nikapiga ukuta ka. Nichukue yale maua. Nao wakasema ni atiwekana. Na mimi nikakaa chini. I was healed completely. Wakaniuliza ni nini? Ni maraika alileta maua na kadi. Na akaniambia nikichukua kadi hii ya mfanyikazi nitaendelea na kazi kuteswa na kuteseka. Lakini nikichukua maua sitajaribiwa tena, sitagonjeka tena. Na kwa hivyo nilikuwa nataka kuchukua yale maua bila maraika kujua. Nikapewa maziwa nikakunywa. Demoti la Kenya na flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god now friends there was this dream that somebody was dreaming and alin ota akiona binguni akaona binguni imefunguka pastor akaingia na hakuna mtu alijua kwa sababu pastor hakuwa amepeleka watu hata wale hawalizika hawakufika huko Bishop akaingia kukaa watu wawili wamemtambua Hapo hapo matatu driver akaingia akapewa standing ovation Akaulizwa ni kwa nini kwa sababu wakati driver wa matatu alikuwa anaendesha gari anasema nyere au binguni <laughs> Kericho au binguni? Eldret au binguni? Ninyahururu au binguni? Kwa hivyo tulishika matatu na tukaomba na tukatubu dhabi na hatia zetu 
Na kwa hivyo tulipopata accident tayari tulikuwa tumeokoka. <laughs> kwa hivyo si wote ambao mnaombea wanaenda mbinguni. Wale wanaenda mbinguni ni wale walio na Yesu. Yesu ndio njia na kweli na uzima. Na nyama na damu haitaridhi ufalme wa Mungu. Na kwa hivyo ninapomalizia nataka kuomba kila mtu wetu ujue ya kwamba dada Virginia Wanjiro Kamau ameenda mbinguni hakika this lady loved god she lived for christ what about you what about me what will happen if next week tutaitwa tukuzike na usiende ukakufe nimekukataza usicheze na mauti naona ni Mungu amenisaidia nikiwa na miaka kidogo kula shukari ya baba sasa siku hata ah, in fact do you know what when i got saved got saved in 1966 na 67 nikaamua sitaki chai ya shukari hata saa hii na kunywa dubia kwa sababu shukari karibu inipeleke biguni haraka <laughs> friends this is my thought and i want to close with it it is not who will bury you it is who will receive you sometimes you work too hard because of our burial services wachana na masishi yako wachana masishi yako Tarubeta ya Yesu inaweza kulia saa hii huna haja watu ya kukuzika. Leo tunakuja kwa sababu sisi ameitwa na tumebaki. You do not live to prepare for your burial. Live to prepare for eternity. These are two agendas. Masishi ni kitu kinafanyika mara moja. Eternity ni milele. And I have seen many men in the church Many women in the church, many boys and girls, many preachers, many bishops, many people who are working for their masishi. Kazi yao takija kwa masishi hii ni kuambia na yangu ikifika mkuja. It was part of the campaign. Waachana na ni nani atakuzika? Tutakuzika. Lakini ushughulikie ni nani atakaye kupokea. I dare say this it is not even the church you go Ukienda binguni kama ni mtu wa full gospel awe ni mtu wa gospel evangelistic church of Kenya hiyo bisho mungai ukikufa uende ukute kibao kimeandikwa GCK ujue you are not in heaven You are not Because the bible says Binguni ni kwa Yesu. He is the light. He is the life. Ukiingia kwa kifo, ukute we ni Mwanglikan ACK Street, ujue you are not in heaven. But JCK Anglican Cornerstone Faith Assembly are instruments of grace. And we must save ourselves from worshiping our organizations we must worship christ our organizations are instruments you do not worship a guitar you do not worship a car you do not worship a house those are instruments god has given us for the ministry and for our benefits but serve christ with all your heart i have seen so many preachers wakiona kanisa kama inafanya vizuri wanaleta yao neighbor ili wabomwe hii wapeleke huko huyu ni mtu wa shetani i i mean it unajua mja ni vizuri si this is not a, a revival meeting i'm not expecting a fund an offering so they must expect to hear this truth say many amen amen say many amen. amen the full gospel is an instrument of grace the assemblies of god is an instrument of grace
cornerstone faithful assembly is an instrument of grace. We preach Christ crucified. Ili kuepuka kuhubiri. Muli nipa sanane. How do you explain? Na mimi ni... Were you serious? <laughs> Ata hii nishikie. Kini lazima sasa tumalize. Tumemaliza aji. Tumemaliza ya kwamba nyama na damu hasita ridhi ufalme. Usiruhusu nyama hii. Usiruhusu damu hii ikupeleka kwa shetani kwa sababu hata hamutaenda kwa shetani nayo this body will not go to hell this body is not going to hell with you but you have a commitment and the bible says if the son sets us free we shall be free indeed let us, let us desire and let me say this and i do not want to say if the church is not going to change the world, the world will change the church. If the church does not change the world, the world will change the church. It's upon me and upon me. It's upon you and you upon you to make a commitment as to whether you are going be, to be true to yourself and true to God, or you are going to prepare yourself for your burial service. In fact, yata kama hatukuju tutakuja tu. Lakini ile kitu kubwa, una, ni nani ya nakupokea upandi ule? Ni nani ya nakupokea? Nataka tuombe sasa. Virginia, wanjiro kamao, ametufundisha, ya kwamba unaweza kumtumikia mungu, na utumikia watoto wako hata nyinyi nataka mjue oda ya Mungu ni hii kumpenda Mungu na roho yako yote namba ya pili upende familia yako namba ya tatu ni kanisa namba ya ine ni dunia na biashara ni lazima tujue ya kwamba kuna siku wewe sie atakaji Ondolea blangeti ni mtu mwingine atakuondolea. Utaenda wapi? Ni nani atakupokea? Nilisema wezi wakiitwa, mkasema ni mkafani uongo. Ni watu wangapi hapa wameimba fungu la kumi? Tofauti ya mwizi wa bangi na wewe. We, you are wasi in fact. <laughs> Kama unataka kuimba kwenda iba ya bengi. Kwa sababu kwenda naye bengi imeiba. Lakini wezi kuimba ya Mungu asiye mwizi. Tusimame sasa. Mina juo wengine mumeona kwili, mungu anasema kitu kwako na kwangu. In the book of Proverbs, 20 verse number 12. In the book, Proverbs 20 verse number 12. The Bible says, the ear that hears and the eye that sees were both created by God. You can be in such a meeting. You can be in such a presence of God and grace, and yet that ear is not hearing. And that eye is not seeing. The Bible says, I repeat, the ear that hears and the eye that sees were both created by God. And when he says both, then he talks about eye and what? And the ear. He's not talking about your ears. He knows. He knows you have ears. He is not talking about your eyes. He knows you have eyes. But the Bible, with total clarity, says the ear that hears is God given. The eye that sees, where do you see yourself now before God? Can you call heaven your home? Can you call heaven your home if you die? Do you see? the need of God in your life. 
You do not need the things you think you need as you need God. And that is why the Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 16, 6 verse number 33. Am I right? Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness. Seriously, as good a God. I want us to pray for ourselves. And after this, then we invite the family to come. We pray for them. But the reason why we start with ourselves is because even the family is with us. And everybody is involved. I don't want you to, to be threatened that I'm going to invite you to be saved. But I'm going to invite you to be saved wherever you are. So you will not be intimidated. You will listen with the ear that hears. You will see with the eyes, with the eye that sees. It's a single one. You will see your place in God. You will know what God is telling you to quit from. Twasema asante, twasema asante, twasema asante, ewe mungu wangu, wewe ni alfa na omega, wewe ni alfa na omega, wewe ni Alpha na Omega, ewe mungu wangu, twasema asa, twasema asa, twasema asa, ewe mungu wangu. We we ni alpha na omega. We we ni alpha na omega. We we ni alpha. Flesh and blood cannot inherit into hell when you die. It is you who will go to hell if you go and you meet your Maker unprepared. I want us to take three minutes and prepare our souls and our spirits to meet our maker. Raise your two hands. It doesn't matter when I was saved. It doesn't matter when you were saved. You may have been saved three days ago. You qualified to go to heaven. I know you were saved many years ago. You may have backslidden. You feared God. You have no reverence for God. You doubt even your own way of life. But you know what? The Bible says, if we say we have no sin, we make God a liar. We are going to purify our souls, our spirits, our minds, our action. And since the blood, flesh and blood cannot, money, houses, vehicles, all the things we have are instruments of grace. And we can use them in the kingdom and they can become part of the kingdom. Make your body Offer your body a sacrifice. Purify your bodies. Purify your minds. Purify your soul. And as this coffin of Virginia Wanjiru Kamau speaks to us that no one is going to live forever. You are not going to be here possibly 10 years from now. But you know what? Heaven is waiting for you. God will give you the desires of your hearts. He will give you education. He will give you money. He'll give you things, but do not worship things. Do not worship your body. Do not serve your body. Let your body serve Christ with you. Father, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. Hasitaridi ufalme wa Mungu 
lakini umetupa mwili huu na damu hii kama kipawa tukutumikie navyo kwa hivyo tuamrisha mili yetu mawazo yetu na roho zetu twasileta mbele zako utakaze na damu ya Yesu utuoshe na damu ya Yesu tomba utakazo tomba uponyo na afya ya wokovu na Bwana wa Mungu na Kristo wa Mungu ulie tuita kwenye mkutano huu ambao umeitano na vinjini ya wanjiro kama eti ya kwamba tumesema kuna binguni tunaomba tusikose binguni wewe pesa wewe elimu wewe madaraka wewe cheo wewe nyumba wewe gali utamtumikia Mungu pamoja nasi we dedicate our souls we dedicate everything we are we dedicate everything we have we dedicate everything we shall be we dedicate everything we shall have to be instruments of grace we believe flesh and blood cannot inherit and therefore lord we we'll never worship ourselves we we'll never glorify ourselves eternal father be blessed i'm going to ask all the family members please to come so that we can say this prayer and i give this microphone i have only three minutes to do so can i have the family members to come and line up here please please come please come please come please come dr Kim, uh, dr christopher kuja kuja please thank you thank you can the bishops stand behind me please thank you loving savior tuelekeze mikono yetu kwa familia hii mtu wa familia akuje mtu wa familia akuje mtu wa familia akuje mtu wa familia akuje hallelujah nitaombea family na nitamwombea dr kiba eh, wanyeki ataomba kwa sababu ya kila mtu aliyehusika aliyejitolea kwa maombi na kwa tia nguvu lakini nataka kuniombea familia bwana wa mabwana kristo wa mungu mbele zako tuna watoto wa mama vajini ya wanjiro kamao mbele zako bwana tu na watoto wa watoto na watoto wa watoto na wote bwana tuwakaribisha kwenye neema kwenye ushindi kwenye afya ya kiroho kwenye afya ya ushindi tunaofunika na damu ya Yesu tutakaza mawazo yao mili yao na nguvu zao na bwana tunajua wameumia wameguzwa wameachwa na mpenzi wao nasi tunakuomba neema yako ishuke tumia neema yako neno walilonisikia kwenye mahubiri tangu jambo hili tokee uibaji ambao umekuweko na shuhuda bwana towaleta mbele zako na tunaomba ulie mchukuo wa dada wetu Virginia wanjiru kamau na watoto wake na watu wao wamekuja na wamebaki uwalinde uwatie moyo na nguvu hakutakuweko na vita farakano wivu na uonevu bwana leta roho wa amani roho wa pamoja na kama kuna yeyote alikuwa na maswali wewe Mungu mpe swali asiulize jamii bwana twakataa sauti ambao zinakuja usiku kuasumbua watoto wa watoto na bwana zile sauti na ndoto mbaya ambao zinakujanga kujificha chini ya kitanda kwenye magari na kwenye barabara nyinyi mapepo wa mbaya sauti mbaya towavunja na damu ya Yesu familia ipokee ushindi wateuliwe wapate utakatifu na ushindi wimbo wa Bwana uwafikie neema ya Bwana iwaponye na yeyote atakayenuliwa awe kiongozi Mungu mwezeshe kukubarika na wote watakaofuata ili walete amani na utulivu na maelewano uwabarikie vile wabariki watumishi wako neema yako yadamane nao kazi dada aliyoanza uwape neema ya kuimaliza vipawa alivyo navyo bwana ziendelee kuiko kwa sababu ya watoto na watoto wa watoto 
makanisa ambayo yanashughulikiwa na watu endelee kubarikiwa biashara zao ziendelee kubarikiwa watoto walio shule waendelee kusoma na wale wanaendelea kuzeeka wazeeke kwa utulivu na kwa neema kuu utukufu ni wako mumebarikiwa mumeshindaniwa mumeelekezwa Mungu aende mbele yenu na nyuma yenu na upande na upande chochote mlichohitaji kitimizwe na kwa sababu ya Mungu Mungu apiganie vita vyenu na ape ushindi kwa jina la Yesu naomba Twendere Hallelujah Father we thank you Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa sababu wewe ni mwelekevu Wewe sio kama mwanadamu Unajua kesho ukiwa katika leo na hivyo Bwana tunajua ya kwamba unashikilia kesho ya watu hawa. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu neema yako ipita ufahamu wa mwanadamu itatua juu ya maisha yao ili kufurahia mema mengi ambayo mama yao alianzisha. Yes. Na mahali ambapo amefikisha Bwana neema hiyo itaendelea katika maisha yao. Yes. Pokea utukufu yes. na heshima e Bwana. Nachukua nafasi hii baba nikikushukuru kwa wote ambao wamehusika katika jambo hili wengi walio hapa na wengine walio mbali wengi wamehusika katika maombi wamehusika katika mipango mbalimbali wametoa mali yao hata walio mbali na karibu wote wamehusika nasi tuasimama hapa tukisema ya kwamba wana husika katika mambo yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe si dhalimu wewe sio tapeli umetuambia hapa ndaye atavuna ajue shai atanyweshwa bwana tunaomba ya kwamba watanyweshwa walio wanyweshwa Mungu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru kwa sababu maisha yao yamekuwa kielelezo kwa watu wengi mkono wako nao uendelee juu ya maisha ya watu wako maana wewe ni Mungu baba tunaomba ya kwamba wingu la wema litatua juu ya watu hawa na utukufu wako utaendelea kuwa pamoja nao. Twanena baraka, twanena amani, twanena ushindi katika njia zao. Baba ninaomba katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba mipaka yao ipanuliwe, mipaka ya mapato, mipaka ya mamlaka na madaraka. Mighty God I pray that Lord you will continue to round to, to enlarge your boundaries in the name of Jesus Christ. Na utukufu na enzi na heshima ni zako e Bwana. Utukufu na ukurudie baba maana tunaomba tukiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu. Amen. Dr. Kamau. Dr. Kamau we respect you. Na wale watu ambao mko chini ya bishop wale mnaweza kuwa na sikio hilo. Na waomba mjue ya kwamba huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Huyu ni mtu ambaye hana lawama. Hata siku alipokuwa shule in fact I, I paid for two thirds of the students in the university. Mimi nakupenda. I recommend you for any blessing in Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Thank you so much for that very refreshing word. Na hali ya kutukumbusha heri kushughulikia mwenye atakulaki na huko. Sio yule atakuzika hapa. There are some people who did not get anyone to bury them because maybe they were eaten by a whale. Like a man called Jonah. Si ndio? But who will receive you on the other end? We have come to a point of uh, preparing now to depart for Langata so that uh, we can put back the remains of Virginia Wanjiro Kamau back to the soil. And so, allow me to give this vote of thanks from here because once we get to Langata, there'll be no other protocols. We're just going to do the burial. First, I want to thank the family of Virginia Wajiro Wakamau. Ne mwana ne family jaga. Ne mwana ne adu made the mother ni. And one thing I love about this family is that we live as one. Utora atwe da ine. 
na tunaishi na umoja another thing i like about our family uh, we have served our daddy and our mom the best way we knew how to huwa tunaulizana is there anything else imebaki ya kufanyia mami kuna kitu kingine chochote mnafikiria and everybody says what now we have done for her wacha hii maua mnaona hapa tumerembesha mama akiwa hai and we are very happy that we have served we have beautified her we fed her there's a time mke wangu anaweza ambia tulienda hapo nikamuuliza we nyina kainama akacheka kasimlikuwa mnadhabi nyarire how many of you have experienced that one of feet washing ah naona hamwezi inua mikono nyinyi wangwana sasa hii ya foot washing kaambiana na my wife we kneel on one side na mimi mguu wingine and it's not long ago tukaosha miguu eh miguu ilikuwa imesoil tunaosha tukiambia we na uipoke naikuwa we na uipoke alafu tukampaka mafuta vizuri from that moment on my mother did not soil again hallelujah Naweza ongea mengi kuhusu the family I come from. We have aunties and uncles, we have our daddy waweru. We live in a very unique family. Family ya upendo. Thank you family ya Virginia wajiroa kama hu and all who are related to. Awapigieni makofi mazuri. I also want to thank God na ninataka kushukuru pia sana 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 kuna hao wageni wametoka US wamekuja na David and Jackie na wale wako uh, wako uh, uko U, uh, UK na watoto ambao wako U, UK we want to thank all those who have stood with um, the Kiratos family and also continue to nurture our mother in and through them let's praise the lord for the UK friends kuna marafiki wengi ambao wako US I like to mention one family a bishop David and his wife the bishop David Karaya and Mrs Karaya those are in Boston wherever you are watching us mom loves you very much she loved you and thank you for loving her our mom would always talk about bishop David Karaya na mutumia wake no le mana mutuga ona le ulire mara igwire ohoro yo they have been with us and i know they are participating with us online there's a group called cornerstone vibe called uh, uh, led by moses karuku many of you know moses from this church they are also they've been with us uh, from day one great friends and they also love mom and they have done wonders kanida wa cornerstone faith assembly go komole na cornerstone shode KAG Bahati Korea Gladys a fellowship aga kanitha wa KAG le muru kamiredo ona kanitha wa KAG hale hothe mutunyitireire gayamor ara muradi mama horire iruheru ega muno Now uh, I'll be remiss if I don't repeat the people who have served mom health wise Professor Godua is here please give him a good hand Uh, I can mention a few doctors and professors who have attended mom but professor Godua and professor Meshak Onguti have worked with mom for many years and they have nurtured her wamemhudumia uh, not like a patient but like a friend and we want to pay a uh, tribute a uh, gratitude to the medical fraternity uh, all others let me distinguish and single out now Jennifer Karaja Jennifer are you here If you are here please wave She's over there the girl you see over there Pigieni makofi mazuri Yeah nasimamia Karen Hospital she is in charge there of quality and uh, more or less she's in charge of what goes on there She came to me and my wife and said Huyu mama ni mama yangu nataka muniruhusu nimhudumie in whichever way na tangu mama ashindwe kutembea Jennifer amekuwa akija nyumbani sometime ana relief yule anashughulikia mama 
Jennifer anasema mimi nitalala hapa kama nime watch your mother. Nyinyi mpumzike macho yangu na mwili na kila kitu kiko hapa kwa hii bedroom. We praise the Lord for you Jennifer. Please be seated. Um, there is a young man called uh, we call him Uncle Francis has been with mom for a very long time. Uh Negweda could distinguish Jimmy Motora. Jimmy Weha. Jimmy, are you here? That man you see there, I'm beginning my coffee. Every Sunday became his duty when their mom kwake nyumbani kumleta kanisani. From the days when daddy was alive up until recently. Jimmy alikuwa na waendea Sunday morning anawaleta kanisani na wanarudisha nyumbani when daddy passed away akaendelea hivyo hivyo. Let's praise the Lord for Jimmy. Two more people I like to mention uh, George Shikenjo please stand George ako hapa somewhere the man you see there George Shikenjo Elijah Kamau please stand Elijah Kamau uko hapa somewhere or at the garini those people have called Jimmy Elijah and uh, George Shikenjo any time we need my mom to be taken anywhere we'd always call on them na wanawachukua wanawapeleka kama ni hosia mani safari anywhere na sio ya kulipwa ni ile ya kuhudumu uh, tunashukuru Mungu for them wapigieni makofi sana um, in special unique ways that i can't even add uh, Nancy Waidera memuona hapa my sister she was the mom's right hand person yani akienda hosi Waidera ako hata akikufa simesikia alikufa tu akiwa pamoja So we thank you sana Nancy God enabled you to love mom and extend your love that way when many of us are in distant places ulikuwa karibu sana na God alikuset ukaange karibu na mom Pigieni Nancy makofi Joro Nancy's son my nephew Joro please stand this young man you see now Huyu alianza kuiba magari yangu Ana gari imeenda usiku na uliza iko wapi sijui. Aga inarudishwa tu na haina dent. Petro imepunguka kidogo. Akafundishwa kuendesha gari na mtu anaitwa Benja. Benja ako hapa. Ako huko akitungodia. Uh, na Pastor Eric mwenye aliaga. So when he learned how to drive, he became like the family driver. Sasa mama akitaka kukimbia na Elijah na Jimmy au Shikenjo ako karibu huyu akashika usukani thank you very much for loving and serving our mama let me also distinguish my children uh, simon and stephanie meona akicheza drums na huyo mwingine when we wanted mom to be happy the happiest how awili walikuwa naenda wanafanya drama mpaka mom acheke na anacheka 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 unaona yeye atakire kinyago kuguo ni kuleta ikoma na tukimwacha hatusikia anaumia like the next 4 5 days so alikuwa anafukuza pain ya mom by entertaining her the last time tulikuwa hapo eh, ilikuwa football alionyesha mom how mtu anapepeta mpira mara saba ta 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 na msichana anaenda ta ta So they really have entertained and nurtured and minister to Shosho to apigia makofi. Ah, uh, I can't finish the list. Naona ni kubwa sana. I can't even finish. But let me mention finally finally two people. Maureen ako wapi anajijua tu ikiwa wewe ni Maureen na sio Maureen naita usisimame huyo Maureen amesimama hapo that girl has been in the mom for three years plus ameshughulikia mom day at night day at night day at night mom uh, ameajiri wasichana wa kumsaidia wanakuja two weeks mama anasema tajehereria hiyo hiyo ni githina And tunaondoa getena tunapata mwingine wengine wanakaa siku moja. Aya iroro diko rwenda roro ni rutukanire muno. Amen mwingine anakuja. But that girl you see there 
when she came to mom, mom rested. And she has served mom diligently for three years plus. Maureen, thank you. Na mungu wa kubariki sana. And then finally, Ruth Thiongo. Ruth Thiongo, please stand. She was the latest addition to our family. Uh, wakati mama alishindo wa kutembea ilikuwa January 29th. Dio wakati mama alishindo wa kutembea, Ruth Thiongo akaingia kwa familia yetu shortly after that. And since then, Ruth Thiongo amefanyia mam what a mother does for her child. Kila kitu amemfanyia. Let's praise the Lord for uh, Ruth Thiongo. And to all of you, I know I can't even speak about my wife. Hata mimi nimemfanyia mengi. Ningeanzia hapo eh. I, I can't speak uh, the Gikambura Fellowship, the girls you see behind me here. Mukobwengi, and everybody here, you have played a big part. It's only that time would fail me to mention all of you what you have done. So please accept my apologies for not mentioning your name. Lakini ujue, your record, inajulikana tuna watu, na inajulikana hapa ulimwenguni. The master of ceremonies is coming after me na atatuongoza sasa mutaratara wa kumanyo peno as we now go to Langata. My brother was whispering to his wife something like he wanted me to say something. Let me just get this. Iko nyumbani tune family. Uh, thank you very much. He was just reminding me of a person he didn't hear me uh, mention very well. A young man who has been with mom for, um, it's probably 15, 16 years, serving and helping mom, Nadia Tunaita Uncle Francis. Naako Tuhumuhumu, I know he's around serving. Thank you. MV. Thank you so much, Bishop. This is a protocol of our departure from the church. And you're aware that this is the first part of this service. The last part, we will do it at Rangata. Uh, if you must leave, we'll allow you. But if you must not, please be with us at Rangata. Um, we have a bottle of water outside here for you. So as you exit, kindly make sure you take a bottle of water. Uh, because that's what we have for now. Next time we have something else, we can do extra. But for today, uh, this is the way that we are going to exit. The queens will do what they did with the body of our mom, but the family will go first. And please, family, when you get out, don't stop there. Kindly get straight to your vehicles, because the moment the body is put into the house, then we will uh, proceed to Rangata. Now, from here, we will drive um, down. We we'll drive down up to the great corner. We will then turn, and I want to believe uh, James that the traffic will organize for us to turn at the great corner so that we can use the bypass. We we drive up sorry the Nana Road all the way. We will turn off into the bypass. Then we will get to Rangata Road and then drive uh, up to the roundabout. We'll turn to the left near the, the Rangata police station and the barrio.
Hey, Jella. Hello, Hedio Kago. Hey, Kirion.
Kau ada hati? Kau aku rekod, aku rekod di. Kau aku posi stream ni. Kau aku posi. Seji. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless The time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be As you step out on the road I'll say a prayer so that in my heart, you always will be there. This is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. So let your life begin. Cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you until you're Stirring in your soul has left you wondering Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise That you were made to change the world So don't let fear stop you now Cause this is not goodbye I know we'll meet again, so let your life begin, cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you until you're home again.
I can see it in your eyes that you are restless The time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be As you step out on the road Uh, the Queen's 
Yeah, we can now remove the body.
Ren ya Santeni. Thank you all for coming. Naomba hiyo microphone iko hapo nyuma ipitishwe James. Uh, let's have that microphone. The clergy, kindly give way for the clergy to come forward. All the clergy come forward. Awe ngine turudi nyuma kidogo tafadhali. The clergy come forward. All the pastors, please come forward. The rest, the, kindly create some space. Uh, we want to get started now with the program that we have here. It's not a long program, and we will be done in a few minutes. Uh, we, I want now to invite uh, Bishop Kahora to take over from here. Thank you so much. We are, I know we are a little bit uh, behind with time, and so we are not going to take long. We you know we have had a wonderful service in church. Uh, we are going to read just a few, a few scriptures, and I'm sure um, we are going to get the work done. Let me just thank uh, the family for also uh, giving this chance to come and say the last word to our mom. She has been very useful to me personally and uh, my family, and also the local church that I do take care of in Imuru, uh, Kamerezo. Thank you, Bishop Zeri. We have almost, uh, despite that I'm ahead of uh, some years, he's almost like my younger brother and I do honor and respect him. So the word of God in the book of John, the gospel John, chapter number 11, verses 25 and 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Those are the words of Jesus Christ uh, to, the, to the believer. So, the Bible says, whoever believeth in him, despite even if we die, we shall not die. Whenever we live, we have a longer life to live together with the Lord. The Bible, in the book of Psalms, I will not try to read everything. Blessed is the Lord, whom I saw, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who giveth all thy forgiveth all thy iniquities, who heal all thy diseases, he redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him, for he knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are dust, as for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower or, uh, uh, or the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and it places not, it places not it no more. But the masses of the Lord uh, is, for, is for everlasting upon those who fear him, and his righteousness to his children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter number 14 uh, and number 13. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven say unto me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. For henceforth ye save the spirit, and that uh, they may rest from their labor, and their works uh, do follow them. Amen. Amen. Those are the words of the Lord in the book of Revelation. And due to that, uh, we, 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 I know we are standing and we, we want to continue uh, doing whatever is uh, needed for us to do here. Uh, we will read uh, now the committal uh, service. How the, uh, for as much as it has pleased our Heavenly Father in His wise providence, to take unto him 
uh, the soul of our uh, our mom, Virginia Wanjiro. We therefore commit his, uh, I mean her body, to the ground, uh, 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 to the earth, dust, we go to the dust. Now, may I ask the person in charge of lowering uh, this uh, casket, and then we're going to pray. The other thing that I want to remind you, as we continue doing this, Abraham, one day, uh, he, 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 the wife Sarah died. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that uh, the Sarah died at 127 years. The Bible says that, that uh, Abraham went around and looked for a place of value. Right? I'm sure he didn't, he didn't have a land. He had to purchase a piece of land. And the Bible says he went to the neighbors and he talked to them about buying a piece of land. And the, the people around there, they agreed to give him to sell unto uh, Abraham a piece of land. And the Bible says after he uh, had mourned his wife for quite a number of days, as we have done to, to mourn for our mom, the Bible says he left, he left the, the body and went looking for a, for a place of buy. This is the same case of what we have done this afternoon. We would not have remained with our mom for all the days. Yeah, we try to keep her. The time has come for us to come now on the side of break. And uh, this place, uh, it is only for her. Yeah, those that are going to, uh, all of us, and friends, and, and the family, and the relatives, and those that are closer, even the sisters, those that are born together with your mom. The fact remains that after the work of these few minutes, everybody has to leave this place, and mom has to be left there. Amen. So, uh, even if you not forget, even if we are here, we are able to recognize our, our dad who is slacking on the other end. And so, we are here for one purpose. Just let our mom rest and rest in peace. Amen? Amen. And that is only the remaining work that you are supposed to come and do. Amen? Amen. Now, can we continue with this? Um, I, I, the guys are removing the, the machine for the work. Let me read something else in the book of Revelation. Now, Thessalonians. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not proceed, precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will send from heaven with a shout, with the voice of archangel, and with the trumpet uh, of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And that we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with, with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with those words. Amen. Yeah, Bible is reminding us that uh, the same case, uh, what happened to our mom will happen to most of us. But there will be a few people who will be lucky enough to hear the trumpet. And as the, uh, the, 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 the as Bishop spoke in the, in the church this afternoon, blessed are those who have the ears. Amen. That is the spirit. Blessed are those who have the ears and all the eyes to see and also to do what? To hear. Blessed are those who hear the trumpet. Blessed are those who see Christ as he, as he comes. So let me ask uh, uh, Reverend that are around the pastors to get some uh, oil because this is the remaining part of this. All the clergy, please take soil in your hands. You'll be directed to take the soil, hold it in your hand, you'll be directed. Just repeat these words again. For as much as it has pleased our Heavenly Father in His wise providence to take unto Him the soul of our departed mom, we therefore commit her body to the ground, yes. earth to earth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes. 
looking for the blessed hope. Yes. Hope and the glorious appearing of the of the great God yes. and our Savior Jesus Christ, yes. who shall fashion the body anew mm. in the likeness of His holy Holy Spirit. Is known uh, uh, her body and of the glory of God according to the working of His mighty power. Mm. Wherefore. He, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Amen? Amen. Now, we would also ask uh, the family members if they have done that. Wale ambao ni wajamii hii, tafadhali, tunaomba family members, na kuwa yate hili hiyo. The brothers and the, the sons and the daughters of our mom, first. Yeah. And their grandchildren, mom's grandchildren, before we go to the other family members. The children of our mom and their grandchildren, first, before we go to the other family members. We are all holding I trust every family member now has some sword in their hands. Yeah. Now, if you are all ready, let's just do it once, one of us. Amen. God bless you. Uh, the brothers and the sisters, the other family members who are not among those, one of them Changa to Father Yudini Numa. The other family members, please come and put soil. Then after that, the queens will follow. Are there other family members who are coming so that we family members who give you a chance? And our family area about the kids here, the young people, the young people out here, we go to get after it. Aya, sasa kama tu mepanya hivyo, kuna mtu la nina deni ya hiyo kazi, tafadhali sasa kazi ya. Basi Kuna wimbo unasemaga Huku diguti hadu hawika Huku diguti hadu hawika Raguti Sasa tuweke udongo huu Tafadhali Tuna poendelea na nyimbo Tuweke tuendele Tuweke tuendele Ugeona kwa 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 kwa
There's the Queen's uh, leaders, Moke, Lebeku, Yiraiko, Alubeki. The next one, we will only the grandchildren. No, before we go to the grandchildren, uh, sister, um, sister, yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, they're going to leave Scholastica. Then the next one will be by the grandchildren. Distribute the roses to those that get them. Thank you. The next one is for the grandchildren. Pick one, pass around. Just pick one, pass around. The grandchildren hold it together. Pastor Peter. Yes. Daughters in law. Okay. Okay. Yes, apple too. Apple was gonna up. Yes. Good. Thank you. The daughters in law who I guess uh Ruth and uh, Jackie. Then the brothers in law after that. The brothers in law. No, we are more, we are more, we get it. Hey, where are you going? We get it. Okay, 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 all the queens, the queens, the queens, Thank you, Queens. Uh, now, if you have a lost flower with you, uh, could you uh, uh, Modulina, you are working at the Serre. Now, the Serre of Kehera, so that we can create space for the others. All right, I want to believe that everybody who needed to do this has done it. Uh, two announcements that I want to do. Kuriata had it, you are. Or they had it. While I have the father Mahua, or could you have done it? You have to look at her. Two announcements that I need to make. Two announcements that I need to make. Number one is that we have refreshments. We have refreshments right behind in the tent. Uh, so once we are done here, kindly pick a bottle of water. I think there's a soda and there's something else. And I also want to apologize most sincerely because the water was some of the water was supposed to be taken in charge. We were not able to do that, and I know I made an announcement. But I took one or two for to move the camera to the Nabuko. We go to the top here again. Now, we have to go to the top here again. 
Yes. Now the one that should have been in the church is here. Pogo. Mariaoke kunyute. Mariaoke kunyute. Mariaoke kunyute. Kanda ine me ha ha. Na mago kubeho. No ujusi mwekiri. Na he na soda. Na he na snacks. Le ukia kako wako tenyika hau. Le ukia wako tenyika hau. Le ukia wako tenyika hau. Amen. 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 Let's say the fight, uh, the fight of prayer, and then we will uh, depart. Ebu tu amini na tuombe, tunapo ona kilele cha kumlaza pedo wetu katika makaboni. Mfane wa fane, we mungu, amiungu, kwenye nyekea kukubasifu, kwenye nyekea kukutukuza, kwenye nyekea kukuabudu. Na kusema umbani huu umetuleta, baba uweza ni wako. Mamlaka ni yako, mguvu ni zako, nema ni yako mfane. Asanti kwa kusimama na jamii, hii ya banakamau mfane. Asanti kwa kuwa paparaja. Asanti kwa kuwa mfane ni muema, ambaye haukukubari wakose, ata wapungukire, ata wanirike. Baba, bari umewafanya wakueshimika, umewainua juu sana, jina lako yesu hibiliwe. Chakwa mimi ata sasa hivi, wanapo acha mwili wa mzazi wao katika makaburi haya. Mungu au tawaacha, bali utaenenda nao, utakuwa uweza, utakuwa msaada, utakuwa jimilio, utakuwa ngome, utakuwa faraja zao katika china na Yesu Kristo. Asanti kwa wote walio husika na hata kwa wote walio pewa mawajibu tofauti na wemedhihirisha uaminifu. Mungu wadhaminiwa hawa waliodhaminiwa tarama akazi tofauti wamezitenda kwa moyo na omba uwabariki na omba uwainue na omba uwafanikishe na hata uwaimarishe kwa chochote kila mtu atendacho na yo amani yako niyo tuwaomba yendele kutawara roho zetu yendele kwa mtiriko kama wa mtu katika mio yetu katika jina la yesu na zonguvu zako Mungu kama vile ulivyo nena na mtumishi Dauli akakutambua kuwa wewe ndiye wafufu wa mioyo iliyofifia toamini hata sasa tuondoka hapo au tatuacha tendelea kufufua mioyo ambayo yajihisi iko chini mfalme utaendelea kutunogonezea na kwa kunogonezewa nawe tupata nguvu matumaini yetu yarejea na tuashinda nguvu zote za dunia na majaribu yo. Tuamini tumebarikiwa Ata kanisa la Conaston Free Assemblies Kwa kiongozi Askuf Daktari Kama mfane Tua ombo mbariki Mwongozo mwema Tiriliko mwema Amone tufanya tuone tamati Lilio jawa na utukufu Wabariki wote Wainue, wapanue Na wafanikishe Otukufu wa china lako Tunaoma na tunamini na yu nema ya kimgu baba Na ufedo wa Yesu Kristo Na ushirika wala mtakatifu Uwe nasi leo na hata milene Amani ya Yesu iwe nani Thank you Pick your snacks behind in the tent Get your snacks behind in the tent And it is well I can see it in your eyes that you are restless The time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be 
As you step out on the road, I'll say a prayer So that in my heart, you always will be there This is not goodbye I know we'll meet again So let your life begin Just I love you to take with you until you're home again. The stirring in your soul has left you wondering, should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise That you were made to change the world So don't let fear stop you now Cause this is not goodbye I know we'll meet again So let your life begin Cause this is not goodbye just I love you to take with you until you're home again.
I can see it in your eyes that you are restless. The time has come for you to leave. It's so hard to let you go. 